Hello everyone and welcome to Undertunes. Um this is chapter 2, part 1, and if you are listening in now, I would suggest you're starting in the wrong place. Go back in the playlist. <laughs> um do, would the players like to introduce themselves or would we like to skip that part since this is technically chapter 2 and anybody who's following along should technically know who you guys are. I wouldn't mind skipping introductions honestly. Perfect. If you don't know, if you don't know who I am, it's your loss at this point. Yeah, you should know who we all are. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I'm uh, surprised but... it'll help you later. Yeah. So it's a surprise to all. No, to recap, later. what happened last? Uh, last time on Undertunes, uh, Grandpa, you missed a part. Oh, uh, oh, that's right. <laughs> Uh, let me let me finish my recap before we get going. Um, so, last time, uh, our fabled heroes who've fallen down uh, managed to find their way into the mountain and meet a wonderful. Or, they have differing opinions on that woman, but that's beside the point. Bob Felix, after staying a night at her home and finding out that. They might be stuck here for a long, long time. Bob took uh, action and decided that the best thing to do would be to destroy the door that leads onto the greater uh, inwards of the catacombs of the mountain. <laughs> um, luckily, our fabled heroes did happen to defeat them and uh, defeat her, and in turn find a bit more on their past. Finding out more about the world outside. <laughs> they made their way uh, outwards after a long, uh, well-deserved rest. And I do believe this is the part you skipped. Uh, right, right. They did have a small conversation uh, right before meeting the little skeleton uh, that laid outside. Um, but so on and so forth. I think I'll just... Uh, let the story, you know. With that, we're going to get into it. Um, some of you wanted to have a small conversation right after leaving uh, the remnants, if I remember correctly. So, I would let you guys talk amongst yourselves. Indeed, because everything happens all of the time. So much. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Your okay, dude. Yeah. Who who are you talking to, Libby? Um, as you guys, um, let me let me actually set the scene a little bit. You guys have just yeah. stepped out of the remnants, and in doing so, have noticed uh, a vast snowy landscape with trees surrounding either side of you. Nothing but a small path going forward ahead of you, um, for a bit of a long time. Um, which the first thing that strikes you is you're in a forest, a snowy forest. Underground, deep below the mantle of the earth. I'm sure you've seen yeah, other things. Just I... like all things. Libby's rolling with many things right now. Also, I do. I don't think she's completely stranger to weird cave climates. Um, yeah, if they didn't get a chance to talk before going through the door um Libby is dragging Gala to the back of the group <laughs> I guess <laughs> um, the height difference alone is sending me in that mental image how does she yeah she probably is just we is only talk. really able to reach your skirt and she just grabs it and starts dragging you back. Gala immediately goes, it's just... At this point, most people would probably still be flipping their shit. At this point, Gala has just, in her brain, gone, this might as well happen. Just do everything. <laughs> um, We're not going through five stages of grief. There is just immediate acceptance. <laughs> He has speed, speed running, um, yeah. speed run strats, gala. Um, <laughs> so 
I'm... Are we still walking, or are we just... Is it? Are, is everyone marveling at the snow? And skeleton. Oh, wait, no. If we're, if we're not the skeleton yet, we... You're not at the skeleton yet. You guys right. have a bit of time before you get to that scene, and so this is just... Okay. This mm -hmm. happens right before. So. I'm asking the other people. Are yeah. The uh, you g other guys. The other little guys. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're gonna, like, leave you guys behind or anything. You guys um, can just walk in, like, two slightly different groups, slightly away from each other. That's mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. When you say yeah. you're doing that. <laughs> it may please. Um, yeah. Uh, so, Libby is going to... Uh, the, the, main, the main thing is, if they're walking... Libby will walk, but if they were pausing like somewhere, Libby would find a rock to stand on. <laughs> um, I think for sake of... Gala gets that there's probably a civilization or something here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, staying in the woods isn't the smartest plan for any wild animals. At the same time, staying in the woods in one place, they can listen out for things and actually formulate a plan before, okay, we're walking, we're walking, oh look, we're having an encounter, there is no time to process any shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just Libby's just Gala! Very, very, very good at whispering. Gala! What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Well, for a start, we're underneath the mountain. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> right, this is definitely different to how we anticipated everything going down, I must admit. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, here's what I've got so far from... We haven't had a chance to talk after everything started. Yeah. No! Shit! I am letting all of this slide today because it has been a day, and Gala proceeds to, and because she is too part tuned, I want to say this, she basically does a previously on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that works. She, in, she, does. Does, she, she does fill in Libby on basically on everything she's encountered with the, when they were separated at that point for Talking with Ba Ba. Mm -hmm. I almost said the wrong name. Talking with Ba at the table and all of that stuff, and that they can't leave. Oh boy, that's fun. <sighs> talking about what she understands of grills. She does fill in because she did pick up that grills had a soldier's background, so she is just directly going to go. I think. That this could be interesting for us. I think he has a lot of links that you will find interesting and that you might find a lot in common. Libby and Grills getting along? <laughs> nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Gala is just make friends, idiot. <laughs> Gala is going to put these two on opposite sides of a door like cats. <laughs> Libby just hissing. Um, the only problem is on Libby's end. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Gala knows. Gala knows Libby. Gala knows <laughs> to try. She's trying to socialize a muppet. <laughs> <laughs> but let's just fill everything in as best as she can on everything. Yeah, Include... you definitely can do that. Just mm -hmm. everything, including the... Yeah! I think our kid has a dad who's killed other kids! That's fun! <laughs> just, she does say it in a very dignified voice, but there is absolutely the ear twitch of all of this is happening. I love how you said our kid. Yeah. <laughs> Libby's not correcting her. It's our kid. It's our kid. Listen, we, we found them. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. is how that works. 
We found them. Kala. Hmm? Kala. Yes. The I'm kid's listening. fucking dead. What, what the is... fuck? Roll insight? Yeah, roll insight. <laughs> Come on! I, like, I can't be the old, like... Did you know too? Uh, eight minus... What are you rolling for? One. Insight on Gala. Yeah, seven. <laughs> Gala, it's... did you know? Hmm? Did you know that Toko was dead? No, she didn't. Okay. She didn't know. Uh, found... Gala definitely knew Toko was dead, by the way, yeah. baby. It's... She found out... She found out during this adventure, everything before, she just thought this was a strange autistic kid, okay? <laughs> everything, so, everything- So with that is- Oh yeah, go. Oh sorry, you go. With the- uh, so, uh, so, With the seven, Livy thinks Gala knew? Yes. <laughs> it's a really bad roll, sorry. It's, Thanks. I, I will just say, Gala will outright- She does speak plainly, it's the- Oh, there you go. The part that you don't get is just how deeply rattling this revelation was to Gala before she processed it. Mm. That's this. But she does just go... No. I... I didn't know. Doc knew. As the medical professional, I presume that was able to come to light. Yeah, I, they'd be a pretty shitty doctor if they couldn't tell when someone was goddamn dead. And Matey is an incredible doctor, as we know. <sighs> Gala. Okay. Gala. Yeah. I'm here. Doc! Mm-hmm. <sighs> Okay, so we might be stuck down here. You said? Yes, I... I will be honest, I don't know how the time dilation will work, whether... Whether we're going to be down here a long time and up there no time? Whether it's the same, whether there's any differences? Mm. But, yeah, when... when when we get back to the surface, I will straighten this out. I, I do have some political way. I can sort out the paperwork. I will... when, when we get back to the surface, Gala, Doc will have been missing for who knows how long. We're already on just Hawthorne. I don't know. Hawthorne will do their best. And we will do our best to make this as speedy as possible. And when we get up, I will take the blame. I will, we will find a way of making this work. It, if we can help these people, there will be a... other side. And... We will, we will figure a way of making this work. What matters now... is making... He's human! There's... 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 I know. If... I know. Then we have to have hope that this campaign situation will... We have to have hope. Do you want to roll insight? Yes, I do. Cool. I do love the line, we have to have hope. Mm -hmm. Well, are you sure you've never played Undertale? <laughs> <laughs> Biting my lip this entire time to avoid <laughs> laughing every time you make an unintentional reference. <laughs> I, I'm saying for our audience and for everyone here, I literally know nothing about Undertale except for there's a yellow dino, a blue suplexing fish lady, a tortoise, I think, and skeletons that make puns. <laughs> I love I love that the one thing that you know is the lesbians. <laughs> you know about the tortoise? Honestly, yeah. honestly the, the lesbians are wonderful. We love to see them. Oh, and there's this sparkly twink who dances. Oh, I am so excited for him. <laughs> Anyways. 
Um, <laughs> Libby, I believe you were asking. Uh, uh, yeah, Calder roll insight. Yes. Insight. Um, oh. While that is happening, what is the rest mm -hmm. of the party talking about? If you don't mind me asking. It trying to avoid obviously eavesdropping on that conversation because they're being <laughs> pretty loud. I'm pretty sure. I've, I'm pretty I've... sure Coco is actively trying to eavesdrop, but someone is probably like just. It makes. Yeah. I, I, I will. I will say. Gala is genuinely being quiet. The only reason I am being this loud is so we don't f up a recording. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's fair. Libby is being that loud. Yeah, Libby. Libby started off trying to whis like whisper, but her whispers like a stage whisper. I love her. <laughs> yeah, Vamp. No, Toko's just Toko's just a nosy kid. Toko Toko was trying to eavesdrop, but probably got stopped by one of the others. Inmate, 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 in. in my absolutely. In fact, inmates the checking in on you, uh, Toko, to make sure you're all right, because yeah. boy howdy, you sure did find and could not remember your mo mother. <laughs> and said mother, and said mother, um, decided not to come with everyone. Yeah. So how is Toko doing then? That weird thing where Toko's not surprised that she didn't come with. Like, they're disappointed. They're not you did, surprised. I will say, you did get a phone to call her back. She does have your number. Mm -hmm. You do have her number. Wait, uh, she, Gala does now have the phone. Yes, Gala does have the phone, which I think is really funny. Yeah, Gala has the phone because you all ganged up on Toko and, like, made them give it to Gala for the game. You're not allowed to have a phone until you're 13. We have to enable the polycule. <laughs> hey, if Toko ever asks, Scala will give the phone over. Like, straight up. She is not going to deny family. She understands how important that is. In this case, I think what's ha what's going on with Toko right now is them going, looking at Emmy and going, if I ask Scala for the phone and then throw the phone in the river or something, do you think I can stop the flirting? This is under the presumption that they will never meet again. Uh. Anyways. I don't know how else to say that inmate is airways. <laughs> uh, quick question, Nebula. Huh? Uh, how, how, which, how's Nebula holding up? Which conversation uh, I... is Eve dropping on? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was gonna um, uh, ask RJ. Uh, do, I don't know like how far along his transformation, I guess, is. I know like not a huge amount, it's, but is he like exuding any warmth? Um, I mean, he runs he runs warm normally anyway. Um, it is noticeable that he runs warm in this very cold environment. <laughs> But, uh, ordinarily, this wouldn't be something you notice, and it's only something you notice if you're stood next to him. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I think he will be, um, nearby, because it's cold. He doesn't like cold. He's not a fan of cold. I mean, I'll say this. So, between, <laughs> between Grill's warmth and the ring of warmth that, uh, he got from Marigold, he is keeping as warm as possible as he can here. Um, but he's also kind of just, like, looking around in, like, this is this is a pretty place, um, and also like it's tainted in that. For me, I guess I don't know if "tainted" is the right word, but like with that uh, tinge, I mean, that's like, everything tinge is tainted. In that familiarity, everything is painted with familiarity. Yeah, everything here, and he's it's like he's kind of just processing everything. I will say, by the way, that as girls walks through the snow, you are melting it a little bit. Yeah, figured as much. <laughs> Your feet are soaking. <laughs> Very uncomfortable, actually. He has walked through worse. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yes, Gala, uh, what was that roll? Four. What was it? Twenty-four. All right, hey, Libby, what's what's the result? Oh boy. Um, Gala. Yeah, I guess you can read this Muppet like a 
fucking book. Um, you you say something about like, you know, this this uh, campaign or whatever, um, and she just quietly mutters uh, adventure uh, and <laughs> um, she's uh, hmm, I'll just give yeah just all the things I guess uh, she's frustrated Helen what are you doing not you uh, she's frustrated that, uh, like, no one listened to her when she was trying to be like, hey, maybe let's not follow the weird-ass thing into the dumb-ass cave. Um, but she feels responsible for you all being in this mess. Um, because as you've stated, mul hell, no, as multiple times before, she is the adventurer she's the one with experience um and she does tend to take on a like uh a role of you know guiding y'all and keeping um sort of the worst from the you know the worst of it from you she she knows that none of you are adventurers and none of you are the type of people who sign on for this. Um, and uh, she's scared for you guys, but there's some other kind of fear, trepidation, uh, almost like facing down an inevitability um and uh as man I guess with the 24 uh she's definitely conflicted about being not necessarily like on an adventure but on this adventure specifically uh and with a god's damned 24 uh i guess you can pick up on that once uh you you recall she had a weird trepidation like when it at the mouth of the cave and when it came to coming underground despite uh how she has been very clearly also just marveling over and excited by the uh by the construction of this place mm -hmm. shall i respond hmm. There is a long, not a pregnant pause, but one of those long pauses of consideration. And then she just goes. First and foremost, I would like to formally apologize for not listening to you better before we came here. You were right in that this is bizarre. I'm going to outright say it's bizarre. All of this is entirely out of the depth of what I am used to, of what most of us are used to. And we should have listened to you better. And I promise, where I can and how I can, I will do my best to listen to you better. You... You are an adventurer and you know what you are doing. Well, this is out of everyone's depth, but this is something you are more familiar with. You and... Grills. 
I'm... I, I know, I know. It's... Mm, roll inside again! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 19 plus 7 gets... Alright, god, down. Cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just Libby Library today. Um... <laughs> uh... Yeah, Grills, specifically, with what you were talking about, um... Libby... She's... Uh... Alright, I'm not even gonna play the whole, like, card or whatever. Uh, she was... Honest... She was honestly kind of hurt that you guys listened to, like, the two strangers, uh, and especially, like, Grills, like, the real, the, for all visible In intents and purposes, the real kind man that just, like, uh, uh. showed up, and then you talking about him having experience in this especially in context of like listening to her uh you suspect and by suspect i mean no because that was a 26 my dude mm -hmm. uh you've struck a uh a nerve or an insecurity of hers like uh you know you've 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 got a you've got a real kind human guy who with experience now why would you care about or listen <laughs> to <laughs> the the you know the four and a half foot half tuned muppet thing um yeah you're just you you're just at the, the Libby, you're just at the libby library you hit um, the nail on the head but, yeah, Fine. that was probably the wrong person to mention as you were trying to assure her that <laughs> and apologize. Okay. Whatever. Libby. I admit, put me in a situation at a party or a diplomatic evening or that sort of thing and I will know what to say. Here, I... I don't. What I do know is that I have faith in you. This is strange. All of this is strange. We are dealing with a great deal of situations, and beyond anything, I am thankful to have you here. I am grateful that, despite our idiocies, you came with. I am grateful to have you here at our side, and there is no one, no one, that I would want more. And I am not saying that in flattery or in some catering of whim I trust you and I will do my best to listen we we need to be a united front we need to make sure every voice is heard and I promise to be at your side. I might not always do immediately what you want. That's... He's the moment. Foolishness. Perhaps an idea that will come to mind. I don't know. But I will do my best. Especially because I know you and I have been in fights with you before. You are an incredible adventurer, and we are going to get out of here and see the sunrise again. I know it. Of 
for someone who doesn't know what to say, you sure talk a lot. <laughs> Part of the charm. Yeah, no, that's like literally the opposite of not knowing what to say. I, I don't know if that's charm. That's that's just talking. Sorry then. Is that what is that what is th did you get like a whole like seminar on this like political? Several, several. I, I attend God. one every. It's a biannual thing. It's quite enjoyable. You should come with. No, I um. We we have flashcards and everything. We we get to talk. We get to discuss it over the buffet. Mm, I'll consider it mostly because it would be if everyone's as stuffy and uptight uh, as you, it would be funny too. But, but what? When when we get out of here and I take you to the next one, I promise that I will intentionally say one of the comments that starts a debate and you will get to watch two professors throw hands. Can I join? You know what? If I say it right, absolutely. Fuck yeah. <laughs> With <Not>. that... <laughs> uh, an apology made. Um, the group, I'm, guess I'm guessing you guys head over back to the group. Uh, yeah, you guys. Uh, what's the what's the other group looking like right now? Did you, you guys? Uh... Everyone fucking eavesdropping. <laughs> Apparently. Cool. They they be they will speak loud. <laughs> Were y'all roll? Did y'all roll to eavesdrop, or are you saying you eavesdrop? Just standard dice roll. Oh, what is this? Right. Yeah, standard dice Everyone's rolls. getting like twenty or nineteen and above. I haven't rolled for. I'll roll for Nebula. Sure. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Alright, remember oh, if you guys are rolling to do well. remember if you guys are rolling to do anything, please at least type it up and send it at me so that way I can see it. Mm -hmm. Uh it's the gag where like Gala and Libby like Libby's ha Libby's doing the yeah, we definitely weren't you definitely didn't say anything that emotionally impacted me or whatever. It this is all a joke, whatever. Shut up. Uh and they look, Gala and Libby look up from their heart to heart and just like, it's the gag where like everyone's looking at them and everyone looks away immediately. <laughs> Natural. Except Nebula got an 11, so I don't know how much he heard. He's Libby too distracted by like everything around him. Libby passes a cactus. You don't know how he got here. Anyways. <laughs> so, joining back together, we forward a little bit. Oh, shit, uh, I was muted this whole time. Oh my god, man. <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. god! <laughs> I was about to say that when Libby passes the cactus, like, Coco, like, um, gestures her inmate to bend down so they can whisper. Inmate leans down. Coco points at Libby and the cactus and goes, Sundays. <laughs> I don't know what that word means. <laughs> You'll learn. You'll learn. Um, so that'll be back in Hotland though. Anyways, um <laughs> I guess in Heatland. Be huh? forward in Hotland. Uh that'll be that'll be forward in Heatland. Anyways, um so joining back together, we forward a little bit. Um step on a branch, uh scary scary noises happen. Hold on one second. Um, spooky, scary skeletons. Yeah, spooky noises happen. Oh. Um, Skeleton. as you guys form a you know a little circle, so that way you guys can uh, get all front because you can't see where the hell this enemy is coming from. You just hear all from behind you, uh, like, uh, why don't you shake a, a shake Brand's hand or whatever, uh, um, and um, skeleton with a sexy man appears. <laughs> so it's, uh... <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> A question that I don't remember because again it's been a while since we played. But did Toriel at any point in time like mention? Nope. Who's Toriel? Toriel. <laughs> ba did not at any. Da Toriel is Ba's cousin. Remember? Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> ba did not at any point in time uh, mention a skeleton. So you guys have no fucking clue who this is. Uh, was it, it was. Grills was the one that sort of more directly 
was poking, right? Yeah, I believe think yeah. so. I think you had the front and I had the back, yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, if, if Grills is addressing whoever the fuck this is, um, Libby's still... Libby's keeping an eye on the uh, encounter, but still watching backs because uh, uh, apparently everyone wants to kill us, so that's fun. <laughs> Y'all are a, you're all a bunch of jumpy folk, aren't you? <laughs> hey, good question. Uh, like, with half-opened eyes, which... Aren't really eyes, but more like uh, like holes on the head. Um, I want you to know. Yeah. Inmates having a, an internal crisis over this walking skeleton. Yeah, don't worry about it. Because <laughs> that's not how I uh, eye sockets work. I mean, how to... Nebula does the same thing. Yeah, Nebula yeah, does the same thing. Had, they've had an internal crisis over this the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Uh, quick question for y'all, uh, because I've never seen one myself, at least, yeah, but, uh, some of you wouldn't happen to be real kind, would you? I'm out of curiosity, because I genuinely don't remember, last game didn't to- wasn't Toko, like, well shaped into a wolf by the time, you know, like, um, the skeleton appeared? I I'm sorry. I think was a wolf, someone had done disguised self, I think. Oh, yeah. Someone had done disguised self to look more toony. Yeah. Uh, Poco has gone wolf, and she's, I will just say here and now, Gala is very much basically taking uh, Matey underneath the cloak. <sighs> yeah, because Matey, Libby, and Grills are kind of shit out of luck on that front. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, Libby at least has the whatever the fuck. <laughs> no. It's, Matey, Matey, you are being cloaked. It's I'm, I can roll sleight of hand or stealth or something to see how carefully it's done. I look at RDF. Pass it on. Looking at Jade. Who? I'm sorry. Who spoke? I. Uh, Gal is trying to hide. Uh, inmate. Okay. Yeah. Stealthily. Yeah. It's my cloak. I wanted to ask you whether you would allow oh, a... yes. Feel free to, feel free to roll stress. So, okay. Um, is anybody going to answer the question, or y'all just remaining quiet? Toko is a wolf right now. Y'all right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Libby, Libby is still not in this conversation, and she's just... <laughs> no. <laughs> huh. Uh, remind me if... Uh, 22. Bob mentioned anything about real kind specifically being targeted. Uh, yes. She did, yes. Yeah, she's she's like, 100%. Yeah. Okay. This okay. whole crux so there. Yeah. Sure. That was her, yeah. the it's whole again, crux of her while. argument. Yeah. It's... Yeah. The... You, you've managed to hide inmate well enough within your cloak. You just look like you have a weird lump on your back. <laughs> I mean, straight up, she, she will adjust her stance and stuff, so yeah. it just, lo it looks natural. Yeah, it, mean, might... it looks as natural as having a lump on your back. She's got four legs. You hear inmate uh, saying something, but it's muffled by your cloak. No knocksack on, guys. Obviously, she just oh souls, damn it! This means Grills is the one talking to people. I mean, <laughs> Libby is the one who. Uh, I mean, Grills and Nebula, because you guys are both. Uh, yeah. 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 But um, okay, Libby good. has <laughs> answered, and it, uh, to respond back to Libby, uh, Sansa says, "Oh, well." Um. That's a good thing, I guess, seeing as my job is technically to capture real kind. Although, I'm far too lazy to do that. Oh, too much work, you know? Hmm. Sure. Either way. So, um, I've definitely never seen a lot of you before, and I've lived here my whole life, so... Name's Sam's! And he extends out a hand. You see a little gloved hand. He's shaking it. Can I roll insight? <gasps> oh, 
Who who wants to roll insight? Uh, Nebula. Nebula would like yes, please do. All right, he's, he's being nudged. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, okay, that's plus four. I have not played Nebula in a while. I had to remember all of his uh, modifiers. That is the wrong channel. That's a ten. <laughs> That's a 10. Even with a 10, you can tell the skeleton means absolutely no harm to you, at least right now. And even if they did, currently, they're not lying to you. That's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. He, he'll shake their hand, then he'll shake his hand. You see, all right. <laughs> as you rip uh... a new one. Uh... Uh, coming from your hand, though. Uh, hold on, you started it, uh... Oh, we are going a little chunky. Oh, yeah. what's happening? Okay, you're, you're hello, here. hello. Jake, no, Jake's back! Jake's back! Hi, can you hear okay, me? Okay, okay, it's back now. Um... As I was saying, oh. that as you shake his hand, uh, you just hear, uh, the sound of ripping a new one. For, uh, <laughs> for like a better term. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Nebula just... Uh, I don't... Uh, man. He, <laughs> this is a situation. <laughs> God, Lord. None of you are. None of you can take a joke, can you? I'm... So Jade. it's percussion in the hand trick. <laughs> Jade, I'm saying here and now that whoopee cushion goes off and there is the softest half of a laugh from Gala. Finally, someone can laugh. <laughs> I will say the wolf. I mean, like Coco is a wolf right now, but Coco as a wolf is like. Hold on, let me put in the around. <laughs> yeah, uh, Nebula. Oh, sorry, you pulls his hand. Hmm? No, you got. Sorry. Go ahead, Nebula. Uh, ne Nebula pulls his hand away and like. Okay, he, 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 he does have, like, an amused smile. He, he Okay, he's just like, yeah, okay. Um, um, Come on, take uh, it from he... one skill to another. I, don't, I actually don't mean any harm to you. Oh, I, I did not hear what you said. Can you repeat that? Take it from one skeleton to another. I actually do not mean any harm to you. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh... Uh, it is nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Nebula Rose. Uh, he's gonna let the others introduce themselves. Uh, <laughs> um, because he doesn't know what if they all want him to know their actual names. Gala uh, is very specifically looking to Libby. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna take a gander here and say your name is uh, uh, Charcoal, pointing at girls. Uh, <laughs> your wolf's name is uh, definitely a Jew in disguise. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, pointing at Gala and just saying uh, like uh, the big one. Pointing at Gala <laughs> again and saying the one behind the big one. Um, <laughs> You, you feel squirming behind God, you feel squirming. And I'm pointing at Libby and saying, Bala Yarn. Oh, well, you're rather humorous, aren't you? Excuse I like to me. think I got a funny bone. Hmm. To be honest, I didn't think you had it in you. Uh, no, I do have it in me. It's literally here. It pulls back the... Pulls back the... Uh, the sleeve to show you the funny bone. Ah, oh, so you do. <laughs> Nebula is trying not to laugh. <laughs> he has covered. He's covered his mouth, and he he he, uh, he likes a skeleton. That is a thirteen to hide how pained he looks with all these <laughs> star stab <stamp> puns. <laughs> uh, I think I think at what they at what he calls Whippy instead. I think yeah. inmate's gonna like step out from the uh the cloak <laughs> and just go 
it would be appreciated if you don't call her that. Got it. Now, um, quite interesting that, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of you happen to find yourselves people who I've never met before and who are definitely not real kind, according to you. Um, just walking through the forest, coming from the remnants. We're new. <laughs> Could tell. Sightseeing. It's a lovely time of year for that. Um, so, where the, where are y'all headed? Out. I think it's... <laughs> I, I think uh, Nebula would like after a moment just say uh, preferably out of the snow oh, well there does happen to be a town nearby um, hmm. well good hey. luck <laughs> uh, oh, Libby can Libby roll insight on the definitely no one real kind comment? Yeah, sure. I mean, <laughs> Libby's I don't need, great I, insight. What's your passive insight, just real quick? Uh, her passive insight? Yeah, just is a nine. A it's a nine. Yeah. You don't even need to roll. He's not fucking. He's making it fucking obvious. <laughs> okay. So we can just say things. Yeah, I guess that works. I mean, the art of politics is saying one thing while everyone understands another. Uh, speaking of, um, this town, I admit we are rather, um, introverted. We're not really people persons. Is there much mingling? I mean, you said you're a... You said you have a job here. Are there others? We hope we don't have to talk to too many people. Oh, oh yeah, there's, um, there's, well, there's, uh, there's Dog Crew. Uh, they're in charge of searching the entire forest, and they are serious about their job. Then you got my brother, who, honestly, he couldn't hurt a fly, but, uh, he would love to meet a real kind. Inmate looks uh, side-eyes Libby at that. <laughs> Libby is uh, never... trying to focus on anything, like, outside of this conversation. And everyone keeps, like, not answering and leaving her to answer. And trying to drag her into the conversation. <laughs> what is- what- that's not what a rear guard does. You guys are really <laughs> bad at this. Understood. <laughs> We thought adventure would be good at the adventure talk. Uh, Nebula is uh, going when 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 he mentions uh, that his brother would love to meet a real kind. He's like, how so? In 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 what way? Uh, you know, set of puzzles, solve them. It's kind of our whole deal down here. When you get when you're stuck down here for so long, you learn to entertain yourself by. Uh, any means necessary. We've gotten really good at it. Um, Nebula nods. This is um, this, this is, is how it's supposed to be. Yeah, this is normal. Uh, <laughs> this is normal. This is normal. Um, Puzzles. You mean like traps? I mean, uh, we try not to do that anymore. Um, people get hurt a lot. Not really. Mm. Definitely, you should have seen the insurance. Uh, like our insurance, but uh, like. Premiums. Not oh. good when people can get hurt during, uh, when you're trying to do puzzles. Um, no, no, I'm in a leg. That's literally what they costed. Um, mm. My brother used to have three arms and three legs. Oof. <laughs> Dev truly devastating. Uh, is there a way to... Um, uh, as you are blatantly aware, we are new. And, well... Puzzles can be fun, but we don't exactly want to, um, well, with nowhere directly to stay, we don't exactly want to be out in the cold. You understand. Is I there mean, a way to avoid them or such, or? 
Uh, there's really only one path unless you wanna, and uh, he looks like a little bit further outwards, like past the point of like where the li little bridge um, that you guys are standing in front of, as there's a little bridge uh, with a little gate, um, and point dragging you in that direction so you guys can actually look at this place. Um, let me describe you the scene a little bit. As you see, the vast forest that you had that have been surrounding you before kind of uh, begin to fade away as you see more cave walls on your right and on your very left of you you see a massive like basically like cavern and now you understand that you're not standing at the very bottom of a cave but instead on like the cliff sides of the cave walls of this massive cavern and at the very bottom you see like a large forest that's covering it and it is a steep drop from where you guys are standing. Mm -hmm. um, think of it like you're standing at the side of a canyon. Uh, mm -hmm. But instead, inside of a cave with snow everywhere. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So you can see there's uh, not that many paths down, at least that are safe, um, as he looks down. And honestly... I don't know, if you're not, obviously you're not real kind. You really have no need to worry about Snowbound Town. It's kind of a nice place of year. It's got an inn. If you guys mm -hmm. need a place to stay. Hmm. What sort of currency y'all use down here? Gold. Cool. What else you got? Jokes. We definitely take this. Fantastic. I'll break out the good puns. I like this. There's a quiet please. murmur in Ignan. <laughs> please, please don't force the doctor to make a joke. <laughs> make you know, absolute jokes. I um I could see you guys um might get a little lost out here, and honestly, you definitely don't want to do that. This place is Massive, 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 massive. <laughs> and you see, like a like as he yells, like a pile of snow from like the top of the rooftops just kind of like falls down, and then you see it like almost in midair. It's like explodes and spreads into a snowfall, like a small snowfall. Um, as mm. like uh some magical barrier is like. Uh, causing the snow to like that falls up from the top of the mountain and into this cavern to like fall and spread evenly. That work on people? Nope. Dude who designed it was pretty smart. No idea how it works though. Who did design it? Did you? Did you say? Oh, it's some royal scientist from back in way before my time. Oh. One of the first pro I think it was one of the first problems we had to solve when we first uh, moved out of the remnants, so. Yes, yes, of course, of course. Nebula watching it with intrigue. Hmm. That would be marvelous for mitigation strategies. Yeah. Oh. Either way, I, I, I um, you folks definitely seem like you're going to get lost if you uh, don't have a guide. So, how about a trade? Hmm. Again, my brother would love to meet a real kind. And even if you are not a real kind, you can definitely act the part. So how about this? You act like a real kind in front of my brother. And in turn, I'll guide you through his puzzles. And he does that in little quotation marks. Mm -hmm. They're you not... Do that with your mouth. <laughs> You'd be surprised what skeletons can do. Indeed, it's rather fascinating. Um, the one point I do want to ask is, if we act like real kind, how will this go? I understand that there is a whole thing about, you know, capturing real kind and such, but we'd rather not get in trouble seeing as we've just come here. Honestly, it's not most of our jobs. The Most of the people who live down here just live down here. Most of us could care less. It's mostly the Royal Guard's duty to, um... Technically, I work for the Royal Guard, but that's 
a lot of mm -hmm. work and I got like five other jobs. I oh, gotta, wow. in fact, I gotta take my break soon. So, um, how about you just uh, keep walking forward? And if you see me, that means you're going in the right direction. Uh, um, how do real kind act? Because we obviously don't know because none of us are real kind. Oh, yes. Oh, blimey. I think if you just say that you're real. Yeah. I think if you just say you're real kind, that'll be good enough. Works for me. Perfect. Well, that works. We're obviously terrible actors. Speak for yourself. In Inmate has handed me an awful joke. Are you ready? Yes. Do ahead. it. Yes. Without even looking at anyone specifically, they just say in their deadpan voice, Oh, look, I am a real kind. <laughs> That's perfect. Um, it is at that point, by the way, um, that you hear... Uh, one moment. I gotta get the fucking song because I did not actually download it. My bad. Oh no! Oh no! Not the best song in Undertale! <laughs> not the best one! Quick! Everyone dance as a distraction! <laughs> that doesn't really work in an audio medium. <laughs> but, our, but our audience can imagine. Not with, not with that attitude, RJ. <laughs> Yeah, let's just do it a cappella. Give me a hot minute, guys, please. I'm just panic flailing because I don't know the song. Um, I pat you. Sorry, I just saw put in the uh peanut gallery and like. Dead ass inmate might just actually say, My name is real kind. <laughs> <laughs> Not if sword. Libby doesn't offer herself as tribute first. No one is offering themselves as tribute! <laughs> Libby is offering herself as real kind of tribute. I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> no, oh, Libby is one of the ones that like actually has an outline. At least partially. Yeah. That means yeah, that she's safest. Yeah, and an around his eyes when he is tall as hell. <laughs> Everyone so far has been short. Excuse, excuse. That yeah, you but... are an exception to the rule, Gala. You were above ground. <laughs> I am. Li yeah, that way, if Libby says she's real kind, and if there's ever a problem, and she actually gets taken in for being a real kind, they can argue. She's not real kind because she is. She has outline. Okay. She has fair. some outline. Um. Cartoon was. You guys don't mind. Yet. So. Yeah. Uh, Are we it, doing an acapella? No, bring it back together. <laughs> um. I love you. Bring it back together. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um. Coming. Uh, uh, forward from a little bit farther away, you guys hear um, a little trussle of bones, um, and Sam's immediately tells you all, tells you all like, "Quick, hide!" Um, and points towards some conveniently shaped objects that are just uh, uh, like uh, near the wall. <laughs> um, yeah. Are they lamps? Uh, not all of them are lamps. Some of them are couches, and others are just like sofa chairs. Um, it's like a whole living room set out here. Uh, <laughs> Why? It, it, it's Sam's break room. I, I'm not questioning it. <clears throat> go, 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 go. They are hiding. Uh, perfect. Uh, do we get to roll stealth or is it? Uh, no, absolutely pass not. Because every, they're so conveniently placed. If they're so conveniently placed that you add automatically stealth pass. This is just <laughs> magic. Awesome. Thank you. Um, oh my god. Head is in my hands. Uh, my moment. Yeah. Uh huh. Are you doing the place? I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sam's. What do you think you're doing out here? Uh, you know, just uh some uh clever work. Uh, working myself down to the bone. <laughs> Anyways, Sam's. We're supposed to be on the lookout for. Real kind. 
Yeah, I know. Have you seen any? Nope. I don't have eyes. Rather, we don't have eyes. We should really talk to her insurers about this. I'm gonna go calibrate the puzzles. You just do your job. You got it. And quit that. Perfectly timed to the music. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, you do see the individual walk in, and it is another tall, much taller skeleton this time, wearing about like. Three pairs of saggy pants, um, <laughs> a very sagging pants, and um, uh, you see uh, like on a little nameplate uh, on his like on like whatever the shirt is, uh, uh, pants pirates. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say I did not come up with the name. It was given to me by Moss. We know Anyways. we know Moss and we love them. Anyways. Bye. So uh you can come so out now. <clears throat> My entire exclamation here was out of character. This is the V Wild losing her shit. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> one, more, one more for the road. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Okay, I just... love that we have one person who's never played Undertale here. It it, it greatly It's very mm -hmm. good. It really is. Yeah, has yeah, really else. good. I am just permanently deeply baffled and loving it. I like <laughs> I like I like our guy in the crown. And I, I like I like Sam's. He he's good. good. Yeah. He amuses me. Yeah. Either way. So um... ask, at you... Sorry. No, go ahead. Um after we finish Undertunes, you'll have to watch a playthrough. Not before. After. <laughs> you got it. Anyways. Experience the whole of Undertunes blind, and then. <laughs> and then I will understand why you guys keep biting your everything every time I say certain things. Yep. <laughs> so, um, uh, Sam specifically says you guys can come out from behind. Um, you guys see that, uh, on your hurriness, uh, uh, there is a small, like, little outpost thingy uh, with, like, a ketchup bottle and a mustard bottle in the front of it. And you see Sam's is now sitting, like, heading over there and sitting behind it and pulls out a hot dog from underneath it. And it's just preparing himself a hot dog. Uh, so, yeah, that um, that was my brother. Uh, uh, just keep walking forward. You'll, honest, uh, you'll find me ahead of you. Don't worry about it. Um... Yeah, that's it. I'm going to worry about it. He seems delightful. Oh, absolutely. I love my brother. Mm. It's good to love family. Yeah. But, and we shan't keep him waiting. And um, thank you so much for your help. And look forward to seeing you later. He raises the hot dog and takes a bite out of it. All right, um, Libby, we good to go? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Um, uh, onwards then, yes. And Gala has specifically looked to Libby first, and then everyone, and then to Grills because Grills was the person who was leading the charge originally. Oh, if you're looking at Grills, we're all insight. Great. Hot damn! Why do you keep yeah. up high today, my love? That is a... 20... I don't know. I can't do maths at this late at night. Feel free to DM each other this information. Okay. Uh, I feel as if, though, this is, this is the kind of thing where, like, you know what? Let's leave mm -hmm. that uh, between players. Okay. All right. <laughs> Ooh! Fascinating. So... Uh, uh, walking, uh, walking forward a little bit, you guys are still walking uh, basically on these cliff sides. Um, uh, it's a lot of crossing bridges, passing by trees with like large amounts of snow. And taking a smaller, closer look at the trees, you see that like um, magically, Nebula, you're able to pick up on this. Um, it's very close to the tree you saw in front of the in the remnant, the one with all the fallen leaves. 
Um, mm-hmm. It seems to have been an experiment, but this seems to be like a more successful version of that. Um, a tree that is able to grow with minimal light and most of the water coming from snow. Um, uh, Avi, staring at the ceiling of the cavern, uh, inmate would uh, inmate would notice uh, that they, there's like massive crystals uh, that line the ceilings uh, along the stalagmites and just the ceiling of the, of the cavern um, that twinkle a little bit, almost as if like light is ref- like you can see there's certain holes where like not light peeks through but it's more like uh light has refracted from crystals uh within the within the holes and is letting like all that all the way down and like the light just keeps refracting uh from each other creating this like twinkling um like sensation of like a night starry like a starry night sky um it's very pretty it might might point that out to the others Well, how's it? Look. You go first. No, you go. It's uh, Gala was literally just saying, "Well, how's about?" and that was it. <laughs> Girls looks up and is suitably impressed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. My first thought was, and I've been looking up and pointing at it and being like, "Constellations," because he recognizes these. He he yes, he, he knows these. These were yes. the ones that he could not find on the surface, but he knows these ones. Yes, you do. He has found his constellations. Livy looks at him like he's gone insane. <laughs> You're going a little. Bit I don't think. I don't think he's looking at her. I think he's still staring at at these uh, uh, faux stars. Just hey, he has discovered he this. This is gonna be a wild trip for him. Like, a, a wild adventure, he is discovering many things. Mm-hmm. Inmate uh, just says, that would imply that you'd been here before. Uh. Yeah, did you, like, know those guys? I did not know those No, I, he <laughs> kind of presses his hands together and takes a breath. Um. And, um. He says, past past seven years, I have no, I I had no memory past seven years. I was resurrected then, and I don't know anything about my previous life. I've been trying to find it. And he kind of gestures around himself and is like, I have found where I used to be, where I've lived. I, I am certain of that. Uh, this is incredible. I've looking. I've been looking for this for as long as I can remember, and it's like small bits of information or pieces. They're they're all piecing together now, and I. It's yes, I I have most likely lived here before. So are they, like, your kids or something? What? <laughs> I don't know them. I, I, look, uh, there's, I've, there's three living skeletons. They apparently what? all come from the same place. Eh, there's that some family. we're related. There's some family resemblance, but no, nah, you're not my dad. As you see, Sam's is just, like, near a tree. Yeah. <laughs> behind you, like, right behind you all. <laughs> I love it. Nebula, about- Nebula doesn't react to him suddenly being there. He just gestures at him, like, "See." Shrugs, uh, uh. and then you see he walks behind a tree. Who is and your dad? He, he walks behind a tree and he's gone. Nebula, <laughs> <laughs> you can't just ask people who their dads are. I, I can, and I just did. What? <laughs> what? Are, are all skeletons just resurrected? How does this work? No, no there, are, there are ones that have not been, and there are ones that have been. Uh, and again, I... Yes, I did die at one point. I That does not mean I was always a skeleton. I don't know what so I... So you weren't a skeleton before you died? 
I, I can't just I don't know. No. I said I can't remember anything. I I don't know. Girl's head is in his hands. <laughs> Go <Inmate>. wait. <laughs> it seems like has... kind of a shitty excuse. Inmate has a colon sla backslash face. <laughs> <laughs> I only know so much. I everything here is familiar, but I can't remember things. I I don't know. I I have reason to believe I was not a skeleton because um she kind of like uh, uh, they find you with like a hair tie or something. What about a hair tie? What did they find you with like a hair tie or something? Is your bald? <laughs> no, I. Hey, I'll have you know that a lot of skeletons have l luscious hair here. <laughs> you see, he's standing at a Can different you read tree. Three reference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, he he presses his hands together and takes a breath again. Uh, and because he's like he's trying to figure out how to explain this. Um. I am an applied archaeologist and have tested spells before, and sometimes they have side effects. Um, I have been transmuted into a dog before, I'll say that. Uh, and I was not unfamiliar with the sensation of uh, hunger or thirst, so I have a feeling that I have experienced that before, which I do not currently as a skeleton. So I uh, most likely did not always be a skeleton. Uh, I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. You talk for more than, like, two sentences, uh, and Libby's just as completely zoned out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's like... Uh, she yells at the, 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 the tree skeleton. Mm -hmm. You hungry? <laughs> But takes out a hot dog. Takes out a hot dog. No. <laughs> Gala says something <laughs> under her breath, and she makes sure it's under her breath in giant. <laughs> it's something about gods giving her patience. <laughs> Anyways, um, nothing. Y'all can keep it moving. What the fuck are you doing, by the way? Um. Walking. I don't think that's what that is. Technically, I'm on my break, so. You're just hanging around. I mean, I told you if you see me, that means you're going the right way, aren't you? Indeed. Um, we should probably leave right now. Oh, you yes. guys! I'm imagining you guys have been walking for this entire conversation. Uh, yeah, no, Gala was literally just trying to make. <laughs> Oh, leaf like a tree. Oh ah, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> let me do. You know what? Let me do that. And then he walks. Uh, like he walks like he fucking walks across like a tree, and he should have come out the other side, but he just fucking vanishes. You know, Yoko, Yoko is the wolf. Yoko is looking at Kala and making like, like wolf noises that no one else here knows to translate. <laughs> Because, you know, this is a wolf, but Kala does, I believe, have to speak with animals. Yeah. So Kala just hears Toko go, oh my god, stop flirting with the skeleton. <laughs> hey, um... I can tell you that's not a ship that I, uh, I don't, okay. well, I mean, I guess, look, I'm not gonna be the one who tells you, like, do you want to get in a relationship with the skeleton or not? I'm just telling you, I'm the one playing two of the characters. Oh, Toko, I don't know how to tell you this, but I am very gay. Right? Okay. I'm... Oh, no. Toko, Toko's, Toko's, like, Toko's pawing at the snow in frustration, and, and they're just, like, Toko is just, like, damn it, I'd rather you flirt with the skeleton than with my mom, and they're just, like, stop off. Rose <laughs> is walking the fuck away. It's none of his business. <laughs> Well, you can't understand it anyways, but this, 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 this is hilarious. He can hear one half of this conversation, and that is enough. Yeah. <laughs> he is walking the fuck away. Um, so. So is that like a uh, minor deity or something? Uh, she's asking Nebula. <laughs> like Nebula knows. 
Sans? Sam? Are you asking if Sans is a minor deity? <laughs> You hear you doing weird bullshit. You just hear oh, from like coming from everywhere, but only you, Libby, here. Um, like <laughs> no. Fucking Christ. It's it's a day. It's a day. I I look. To something. Let's so, see. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Walking forward a little bit, you guys do eventually uh, not reach a crossroads, but you do see uh, a little further uh, ways from you. You do see Sam's and Panspirus, um, uh, like just having a small little conversation. Um, that name. Oh. Nothing. Yeah. Uh, mm. Just having a like a conversation with each other, in which uh, you see Panspirus definitely looks as a very annoyed and sans is just like uh like big smile on his face um uh are you guys approaching how are you guys approaching this you do see in between you in between you there is a piece of paper on the floor <laughs> libby picks it up yeah libby you oh you're heading over to pick it up Oh boy! Oh, oh! In between the two groups, I thought you meant yeah, in, between in between everyone in the group. Between uh, everyone in the group, like or no, in between the two groups, yes. Uh, there's a piece of paper mm -hmm. on the floor. Okay. Libby looks at everyone else. Makes a motion. Is just like, I'll go? Question mark. I'll get it. Hmm. If it's in that trap or something, I'll have a better chance of jumping out of the way. I did not hear what you said. Uh, you said if it's a net trap or something, I'll have a better chance of jumping out of the way. Take a grills. I volunteer as tribute for this one. <laughs> you can both go. Come on. If it is a net trap and he fails to jump out of the way, it'll be really fucking embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> fail, 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 fail. You could both go if you wanted to. Does nah. <laughs> does Libby come along? Because <laughs> he's walking. I there. will say. Okay, so apparently I was muted at the end and did not. Oh god! Oh, so sorry. But anyway, I will say if you all are discussing that, there is like a ninety-nine percent chance Toko has stopped forward to pick up the paper themselves. We just have. <laughs> you're gonna have a little trouble with that, seeing as you're a wolf. I mean, you can still pick. Dogs can pick up newspapers, dude. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Not... Just not gonna go read it. <laughs> it is a Do singular not... piece of paper, yeah. ma'am. It is Do a singular piece of paper. Help. I... You you are a canine with sharp teeth and a slobbery no. tongue. No, <laughs> please do this. Please do this. I actually... For those it's... reasons specifically. It's more <laughs> likely that as you try to get your, your snout underneath, you just keep shoving it away because of the snow. <laughs> Okay, what would be funnier if Toko read it first and then tried to carry it over, but it's like completely ruined by the time like they come over, or Toko like read it first and then like fucking like tried to bring it over, but couldn't because they're a wolf. I, I like the nudging in the snow because everyone just watching the nudge, 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 nudge. <laughs> <laughs> nudging in the snow it is. So, who is heading <laughs> forward, please? Grills will. Grills and goes and the girls will follow. Okay, so Toko, what are you doing as you approach? As you see, like, you are being- you have been noticed uh, by both skeletons. Toko- Toko, um, Toko holds their head up high, just makes little wolf noises, and then just continues to- and then just continues to sit down in front of paper and then reads the paper. Nice. Um, as you're reading it, I will let you know what it says, uh, but uh, Sam's and Pantspires do have a small conversation, which, the way that Pantspires speak, y'all can just fucking hear him from like 10 miles away. <laughs> He's fucking loud. Um, and he just says like, Sam's, is that a... And he points towards you, the wolf. Um, is that a rock? And behind you, there's a rock. 
Yes. <laughs> yes. Ah. What about the thing in front of the rock? Sam's, is that a wolf? We can't let it disturb the puzzle. We need to be there for the real kind. Well, what are you going to do? Uh, hi. I'm real kind. This is my wolf. <laughs> I heard you were looking for me. You see, they're, they're looking they're looking back at you and then at each other and then back at you and at each other. Meanwhile, by the way, uh, Coco, you have read on the paper the paper. It reads, uh, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Coco nods. And then Coco, actually, Coco eats the paper. No, you can't eat that, no! <sighs> Dang it! You, real kind! Can you order your wolf to spit that out, please? Walks up to Pan's fires and just gives him a pat on the back and just like, that's all right, bro. They didn't need the paper anyway, so you can just tell them the riddle. Uh... Ah, yes! Thank you, Sams! Real kind. Are your friends behind you also real kind? Um. Yes. <laughs> no! Hey. I, I I just have the image of Nebula, the most tuned here, just being like, yes, like, yes, he's a real guy. <laughs> Perfect! You know, I did you not prepare, what? I did not prepare six rid five riddles. Um, hmm. Libby tries, is trying to hold it together, but she's dying, <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Alright, I will propose the riddle to all five of you, and you will have to answer simultaneously and agree. What came first, the chicken or the egg? And you cannot discuss it amongst yourselves. You have to answer immediately what, what your character would answer. The egg. Oh, no. The egg. Hey. The egg. We'll be too busy laughing. <laughs> oh, shit. We've got a consensus of egg. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, no, we don't, because Nebula was going to say chicken. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nebula was yeah. going to say chicken? That's what I thought, person who knows TOC. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Hmm, a disagreement. I did not think about this. Either way, your friend Nebula is correct. No, it's not. Everybody else said the egg. It's the right one. Or, sorry, not Nebula. He would have said your friend the skeleton is correct. That was my bad. That was my bad. That was my bad. You know, sometimes DM and NPC brain cross over streams and it's a little difficult to keep them track. I can't be like that sometimes, dude. Your friend the skeleton is right. No, they're not. The egg kit obviously came first. Sam's the chicken came first. It's obvious. I mean, who would have given who would have given birth to the egg? At, at this point, by the way, the two brothers begin arguing with each other. I think Toko might just trade up like after Toko finishes eating the paper because Toko will finish eating the paper. Mm -hmm. Toko will make eye contact with grills as they follow. Why are you like this? <laughs> they make stands like... up and they are walking past the brothers. Yeah, Nebula's same. doing the same. Yeah, they're deep too. They're too deep and they are too deep in conversation for you guys uh, for us to stop you. It's Gala follows, but it is like people who know Gala, the look on her face is she wants to dive into this conversation so much because she knows this. She's done. Yeah. She knows this entire argument. She has paper citations and she's not. <laughs> she's not going to because that would be a terrible idea. At the same time, oh, she vibrates. 
It, I will state it. Coco's, Coco is just giving me I want to talk problems on purpose right That's now. That's alright. <laughs> That's perfect. So Because, like, Coco just fucking passed, like, Pen Pirates, like, well, following up their inmate. And, like, you know how you said Pen Pirates has multiple, like, saggy. Don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but. You all just see Toko pause and stare directly at one of the saggy pants. Don't. Don't do it. I know what's going through your head. Don't. Girls is gonna pick up the wolf and keep walking. <laughs> no! <laughs> yes! No! No, not right now. <laughs> the wolf gives such a sad line. <laughs> the Girls does not care! <laughs> As you guys pass, uh, pass the brothers, uh, you do hear Pants Pirates, you, you yell out, they're like, Please do stop before the next puzzle, so that way I can p properly explain it! I gotta finish my argument with my brother! Well, well, thank you! <gasps> oh, my God. God. I love <laughs> this so much. Okay, so... I'll, um... I'll, um... Mm. What was the she, point of the? Video? She just she just pats uh grills, like on the leg, twice wordlessly. <laughs> right, and walks forward. So I am a soldier, not a politician or a public speaker. Please don't make me do that again. <laughs> okay, <laughs> tell you what, tell you what, and we we pull a real Spartacus, okay? Uh, Nebula, Nebula, are you up to the bat to be the next reel? Uh, Nebula looks at his, like, like, like being the next reel kind you're saying? Exactly, I mean... Yeah, Nebula, Nebula looks at his uh, extremely toony appearance. Exactly, and... exactly. I know what you're thinking. Think with me. Exactly. This is the... Real scenario, and she does like full and do an air quote with it. Girls just goes, Oh, souls, and buries his face in Togo's fur. Because <laughs> he you can't little... face bomb because his hands are full of wolf. <laughs> the little wolf like makes like a little like squeak. Squeak noise. <sighs> there, no. there, Wolfie. There, there. <laughs> like I wanted to, I wanted to pull down one of his pants. That would have caused an incident and possibly got us in trouble. It would have been it incredibly amusing. It would have been incredibly amusing. I would have laughed. We might have got in trouble. Tell you what, if we manage to befriend them and everything goes well, you can pants them later. Coco wiggles. <laughs> I enable this child far too much. <laughs> I Dumb. think we all do. As you guys walk forward, leaving the two brothers arguing behind, um, the path uh, that you guys are walking on begins narrowing a bit. Um, you're crossing a bit of a perilous bridge, no need to make any checks. It's well, well, it's well put together, but it's just, you know, big drop underneath you. Um, don't look down. Don't look down. Uh, but... As you do so, then path just narrows down to the point where you see like a wall kind of be erected between the continuation, like which you can see is kind of goes like a little bit. It's kind of like a the way that you make walls and into a lake. Um, the wall goes for a little bit past the path uh, that we usually go on. As you see, it's actually like clearly built uh, like by someone. Um, there's a massive door on it, um, uh, and. As you guys are approaching, you see Pants Pyrus and Sam's um, are standing by it. Um, just, again, conversing, um, enjoying themselves. Um, okay, what's with the transportation bullshit they have here? I would assume it's shortcuts. Hmm. Fascinating. I don't think that's how geography works. Well, if you've got the right arcane symbols and such, it should. It's all about dilations. Um, there's a certain scene transitions and such that certain tunes can do. 
Nebula, was... Nebula is nodding. Yeah, see? I, see? I get it. I was just talking about time last week. That works too. I mean, with the speed that they're going, we'd normally hear if they were going underground, yes? With the pathing that you're the pathing that you're hearing, and honestly, like there is and the time that it would take to travel between us, because you guys made a little bit of a distance before like you looked back and they were already gone. Um these people are traveling at an enormous speed if they are traveling somehow. So it's more toon bullshit. Maybe. Anyways. Yeah. I'll never tell. <laughs> so Hmm. I guess uh, was, was I never heard Tail Sam's it, Sam's in character. I'm sorry. Was the I never tell in character? Uh, <laughs> yes, but only to you, Libby. Only you could hear. It. <laughs> no. Libby's going. Libby's going to assume everyone else hears this until. Perfect. That's great. Otherwise, <laughs> they can't. Anyways, it's your own little speech bubble thing. Yeah. But also, Nebula, it's your time to shine! Yeah, Nebula's so for it. He's been assigned the next real kind. Aha! I see. You know, I've never met a... I've met plenty of skeletons before, but never a real kind skeleton. It's quite interesting. You do look... Different. You look... You do look very much like us. Yeah, we're, we're really not that different. I see. Well, either way... If you wish to pass the, pa the door, you must... And, um, uh, solve this riddle. And you see, there's actually a riddle written onto the door, um, which reads, I'm going to type it out, so thank you. I can make houses. Or, I can make men. I'm dust. When you stop moving. But I thrive beneath your skin. And you see there's a massive, like, there's a big lock on the door itself. My first thought was iron. Is iron in the blood? Hmm. My first thought was carbon. My first thought was bones, like the bare bones of a house. Oh, shoot, mm. that might actually be it, especially because... Again... I'm... Yeah. Nebula I is the one! Bones. Nebula is the one in front of the party. Are we talking among ourselves, or...? I, <laughs> I think I think we are, but loud enough that it can be heard by Nebula. Do feel free like... to participate in the puzzle if it becomes too hard. Although... <laughs> I know this will trip you up. You will never get past this point. You are incredibly good at making puzzles. This is delightful. <laughs> it's just been riddles so far. I know! It's I'll just nice. you wait. I didn't make all of the puzzles here. How many more are there? Um, a bit. I lost count, honestly. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm sure we can find some bona fide solutions. We're going to die here. <laughs> we're, we're not going to die here. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure we are. Hey! I would prevent what's the so being clear. <laughs> Good point. What's the, what's the solution? Well, I can't obviously tell you that. That makes the... No, not you, skeleton. The other skeleton. I don't know it either. <laughs> no, the <laughs> other, other one. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just, just say Nebula. Just, just we can, we can, we can just use names. We we know everyone's names here. What's his name? You can point, point out the one you're talking to here. There are three skeletons, Nebula. I love you. She, she points. Uh, I'm. They're all in the same direction. The one in the black okay. poke. poke. The one, yeah, the one with the suit. Yeah. Nebula. That's Nebula. Nebula skeleton. Which one? What's the answer? Nebula. His Nebula. His name is Rohu. Is not skeleton. Uh, Nebula is gonna go with uh, 
one of the suggestions that you guys said, um, and he is going to guess, um, would it be bones? Well, if you are so sure, stick the object of your choosing in the keyhole. I'm sorry, we're sticking a bone in a keyhole. Wait, oh, that that's actually quite... <laughs> if, 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 if we're right, I'm going to be amused. If we're right, I'm going to be amused. <laughs> Please let us be right. Please let us be right. Nebula, just sticking a bone in a hole. <laughs> Go ahead, Nebula. <laughs> And they have their head you, in their hands. Nebula, how do you do this? You know this, is, this like, feels real kind, right? I'm sorry, could you just repeat that? That kills real kind. I mean... The bones stay in the body. If it's the bones, then you'll have to figure out a solution. Can you disconnect your... I can. Do you need it for something? Uh, yes, could I have a hand, please? Here you go. <laughs> no, he was glad that he's not the one who has to do this. Because <laughs> he could. He was, like, about to, but then she, she suggested to them, and he's like, Okay, I'm not doing that. I'm letting them do that. <laughs> if they're willing to put their own bones in this, then it's unlikely that we're going to lose any vital parts of our anatomy. I would prefer to not. Exactly. I, I, I would like to keep mine, yes. Grills, I hope you're holding on to that wolf. Yes, the wolf is being held <laughs> on to. <laughs> the wolf. Wolfie, you can't fetch. Wolfie, no. Are you putting... The wolf uh... the virus that took a bone off. Like, you just, like, Grills noticed, like, Toko's face just, like, fucking zoned into the bone. <laughs> onto the bone. So, are you putting the... Skeleton yeah. arm inside of the keyhole. Yeah. It's straight up. Gala will look at Nebula first if Nebula wants to do it. If not, Gala will do it. Nebula, like, if. if <clears throat> Nebula takes, uh. Pants Pirates' bone? Yep. Yep. Oh, he, uh, he's there. He might as well. Um. Yeah. Just put it in the keyhole, I guess. Alright, cool. You turn it. And you just hear it, and the door opens. <laughs> Darn! That's another one of my puzzles. It was a skeleton key! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my brother came up with good. a joke. I came up with a puzzle. Oh, that's good! I treasure both of you. This is remarkable. Uh, Nebula Five tosses Pants Pirates' hand back to him. Thank you. Eight. What I want to get a spare. Eight. Yes? I'm begging. Can I roll something to try and get out of Krill's grip? You're gonna have to roll me ass. <laughs> like, uh, cause you're currently grappled. So you either have to roll, uh, uh, Grills would acrobatics have to roll. Acrobatics or athletics? Yeah. Acrobatics, oh, acrobatics. You would have to roll acrobatics or athletics with wolf stats, by the way, not your stats. And Grills yeah, rolls against Honestly, you. Honestly, though, my, my wolf stats are better. <laughs> yeah, you guys are roll. You guys are to roll against each other. You let me check. Oh, by the way, Jade, yelling into the void, once we're done with this puzzle, could we take a small break? Yeah, sure. After Ooh. this one comes a more complicated puzzle, so. That'll be good. For it made the love in after we defeat that. Oh, that was really close, though. Not quite enough. You are being held. <laughs> Toko Voice, let me go. I want to gr get the bone. I don't know what you're saying. I don't speak wolf. This is not the time to go jumping on him. <laughs> With that, uh, you guys managed to get past the door, um, and leaving the small wall behind, we're going to take a small break, so that way we can uh, reconvene in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm All right. It. I am so a third in... party thought it was blood, and a third party <laughs> thought it was bones. <laughs> We've got ink, blood, and bones between us. Also, blood can make houses, as in lineage. Mm. Yeah. Uh, before I slip off to grab some water, uh, 
In, if the answer was blood, inmate would have uh would have offered to draw blood from their own finger. So like, inmate. Well, that would have definitely proven that there was a real among us. Yeah, yeah that's true. Doc, I I, I have, have weapons. I am grateful that the answer was bone and absolutely <laughs> fucking delighted. All right. I'm gonna grab Bob now. Yes. Souls and stars above. Gala, Gala is straight up. Every time we get to a puzzle where it's like this, she is having the time of her life. She gets this is a serious situation. At the same time, this is actually quite cool. I love her. Mm -hmm. uh, when are we returning? How long is the break? Uh, ten Good minutes. question. I think so. It. 23, 10, wait, no, shit, you guys aren't in the same time zone as me. Uh, 8 10 minutes. Past. 10 yeah, 10 past. Okay. I'm gonna try- uh, I will be right back. Yeah. Ah! No! Oh yeah, I forgot to send a thing to our lovely DM. Hmm? Oh! The, uh, it's just a little bit of lore that may or may not come up, so I'm sending it to our DM. Understandable. Um, Have a nice day. Libby, Libby does not have any answers for any of these riddles. <laughs> Bold of you to think that she can- to assume that she can think on command. Gala just keeps on going to our fight to give them apples in the shape of crabs. And so she's just having the best time because this is like home. Hey, hey, V Wild. I hope you know what is an actual item in Undertale. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Crab apples. <laughs> uh, hey, do hey, hey, do you wanna? Do you wanna? Do you wanna fun fact, Wild? Affleck was actually inspired by a thing in Undertale. What? Yeah. <gasps> what? The I don't. I don't know if Jade's going to incorporate it, but I'm um. Just sitting here. I'm <laughs> just sitting here. You can't see it, but I'm literally just bouncing in place, looking around. <laughs> Also, here and, here and now, I'm stating it for the record, Natchez confused me. Hmm? I am trying Natchez for the first time, they confuzzle me. Oh, nachos. Yes. Then I guess it's nacho, lucky night. <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I am trying them. Uh, they are triangles like Doritos covered in cheese, but they are not Dorito. It's because Doritos are just a brand of corn chips, and huh. nachos are corn chips. Ah, I am. I am learning many things, and one of them is that nachos are strange. But I respect them. Are you only? Are you having like just cheese nachos? Yes. Okay. I have oh, that's kosher. I have guacamole. I made that earlier, on impulse. Gross. Helen, I'm going to go and have my guacamole as well. Yes. I guess now's a bad time to mention. I don't even like nachos. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a perfect time to mention. It's, it's really weird because I like corn chips and I like corn chips and salsa and I like corn chips with cheese dip. I just don't like nachos. I like combining all three together. Right. What up? 
Well, if you let the nachos sit for too long, the chips get like soggy, and that's not great. Yeah, so, like that's having definitely... the dip separate. Having oh, the oh separate. That, that's why they're sad. You let it sit for too long, and you let the chips get soggy. No. I, I have them, and I got them all ready before game, and then I got hyped in game, and now they're soggy. Me too. So... For the fork. What happened? Okay. Viewers got sad, soggy chips. <laughs> okay, I, got sad, I got sad, soggy nachos that I'm gonna eat with a fork. You okay, Theron? Brad? Hmm? Yeah? You alright? Yeah? Oh, okay. Why why would I not be? You sounded like a little down. Okay. No, you sounded a little bit down. I thought you were no. no. okay. I, I wanted to make sure. Alright. Oh. Yeah. No, I'm good. Okay, cool, cool. Sorry. You don't need to be sorry. I Just guess. I don't know. You're good. <laughs> right. I am I'm, I'm coming in and I'm giving you a little kiss on the forehead. And I'm I also want... giving Helen a little kiss on the forehead. She stole my dice. <laughs> she's currently, she's currently staring at it. How's everybody <laughs> doing? Around. Doing great. This is fun. This is a time that's happening. I'm me. I'm enjoying it. <clears throat> Libby is glad. Gal is enjoying it. <laughs> this is a bastardization of the adventures you you know to be true. Oh yes, no, it's fantastic bastardization. We love we love bastards here. Love to see it. Girls, girls is just like I was the leader of a scouting unit. I was not the leader of any kind of 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 talking to potential hostiles party. Gods. To... <laughs> if it hasn't be... um, if it hasn't come into um, it hasn't been made obvious. Neither Sam's or Pants Pirates mean you guys any harm whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I think by now everyone's probably picked up on that. <laughs> How much they believe it is another matter altogether, but I think everyone's yeah. picked up on it. It's we don't know what's gonna happen down the line, but for the moment, I mean straight up, Gala's just seen siblings and gone, ah oh. Helen. <laughs> Every time Trad <laughs> How are you doing up? How are you holding up, Ollie? I'll be. Uh, yeah, it seems like Inmate is going through a time. Uh, I sent this to Arrows uh, in DMs, but when, uh, but like after Inmate, not Inmate, after Debula like said something about uh, not remembering who they were in their past life and everything here being familiar. Inmate gave Nebula a glance, but it was like looking at them without really looking, and then just followed after Gala. A disassociative glance. Yeah. Congratulations! It is half the party that is amnesic. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. You know, at you. Do we want to add more people to the amnesia party? We just gotta hit them hard enough. <laughs> I don't know if Nebula would have like noticed anything about that, but so I just sit here in the information. I think now's a good time to remind everybody that Inmate has not introduced themselves directly to Nebula. Or grills. Libby hasn't done that either. I don't know if I think Gala Gala yeah. like did Gala a blanket everyone. introduction, blanket, yeah. a blanket <laughs> introduction to the party, and then that was it. I thought you were really neat, honestly. <laughs> I mean, did Libby retain any of that information? No, apparently not. <laughs> no, yeah, evidently not. <laughs> Gala just sits here. Every, every day Gala wakes up. Every day Gala wakes up. It's not her fault there's two more skeletons now. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, 
hey you skeleton would work pretty well it'd be rude but yes why is it rude he's a skeleton that point <laughs> my head is in my hand my head is <laughs> I, I just sit here. I just sit here. I, I the V Wild, wake up every day. <laughs> <laughs> and today I wake up and go, oh yes, what a wonderful world. And then I get hit with this. <laughs> yeah, I love this group so much. <laughs> Same. I like that. Wait, what did Trad Trad? What did it... Oh. What did I say that you said Gate is my favorite person? I'm sorry, everyone. Uh, you- you- you got into Pan's Pyro's voice, and you just did the banter back and forth with the bros in it's great. the voices. Look. Thank you for Jade, the compliments. I, Jade, so I love good. you. It, it is truly delightful, okay? Here and now. <laughs> I know next to nothing of anything, but all I know is love for these people. Jade, do good voice. Jade, I'm currently in the process of building a papyrus paper craft, and I was one of the people who bullied Fan Gamer into bringing back the the papyrus T-shirt. You're beautiful, and I love you. Thank you. Hell yeah! Is everyone back? We're waiting on Vamp. Uh, Vamp. I love that Grills has just picked up the child. Yeah, that's definitely going in the animatic. Um, <laughs> I'm also going to need the ref of Pants Pyrus. Um, <laughs> Papyrus, but he's wearing three oversized pants. Okay. <laughs> what kind of pants? What colors? Um, Actually, no, I don't need colors. Yeah, uh, but do you honestly kind of pick, pick your choice. <laughs> Can, can I make a suggestion? Can I make huh. a suggestion? At the very least, the last two. Sweatpants, hot pants. UFO pants. There we go. The Vamp is back. They have to be okay. like three different, um, like, uh, lengths so that you can see I'm the ones beneath. I mean, they're sweatpants. They're long. And then you got the alien UFO pants. And those are Decent, like mid thigh, and then you got hot pants, and those show full booty. So, <laughs> I, I suggest uh, uh, I see UFO pants, and I raise you um, the like. Uh, it's either UFO pants or those those god awfully named type of pants with all the buckles and belts. That's what that's okay, exactly honestly, right now, honestly, They're here's what I'll bondage pants. I'll give you. I'll oh. do you. I, I I see pants you guys are proposing. I raise you got one better towards arrows. Just draw him in new pants every single shot. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you, yes. Not none of you are free of sin. Anyways, so. <laughs> what do you mean? That's literally what they're here. called. None of I you. Just came back here. What do you mean? <laughs> We're sin? talking about what kind of pants. That's that's right. Right. Oh, you so Anyways. Bad. V Wild, I hate to tell you, dude. That's literally what they're called. Oh yeah, I know. It's because Hex told me about them at the same time. Vamp, yeah. run while you still can. I'll hold them off. No, don't run. We've got a game to play. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late to apologize. <laughs> I'm writing down a list of pants. Thank you. <laughs> All right, is everyone ready? Yep. And souls and plots that they. I'm using right. you guys as talking time to actually write down something that I need for the puzzle, so that cool. I don't have it. So, all right, cool. Um, all right, so. So, um, getting back into it. Mm-hmm. Um, as you guys leave and obviously make your way through you can see the path widen uh, a, little, a bit again um the trees are starting to come uh, to return um there's been trees sporadically throughout the path they just like as the path narrows they they don't uh, they don't appear as often um and as the path um uh, widens you see a couple more of them still enough that you can see the vast cavern uh, to your left 
um, as you guys are still traveling uh, alongside this wall. Um, as you guys are passing by, you do notice uh, at the very bottom, there's a small little, like, um, cabin um, with, like, smoke coming out of it, and you see the lights are, are barely on um, in the distance. Um, very far away from where you guys are. Um, uh, but you guys do see, door opens. This person fucking comes out, and they begin chopping up. Um, with that... I are they far off, or are they... They are far off, like, all the way at the okay. bottom of the cavern. Um, when I say, like, you guys can barely see it, but you guys can see it because there's the small house stands out in a, a, in a circle of, like, no trees. Yeah. Uh, in the surrounding area. Nebula's looking down glad to see that. At least there are some people down there that can survive getting down there. Um, like, you, you get the idea, at least, the very least, from what you've seen so far, is that this actually may be the main source of wood for the entire under, however big it might be. But, um, with that, um, you guys arrive at another uh, obstruction. As you guys see, there is a giant, like, thorny, like, vine that has kind of, like, grown out of the fucking wall and um, made its way through the, uh, through the path, blocking it, um, um, like, Preventing you from pa keep it, uh, to keep on going. Um, you guys do see Pants Pyrus, like, looking at the walls, like, and looking uh, right behind him, um, you see a cauldron um, filled with some sort of bubbling liquid, um, and surrounding it are, um, gotta make sure I get this right in a second. Surrounding it, growing out of, uh, growing around the pot, are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different colored flowers. Um, one is colored red, another one is colored cyan, uh, another one is colored, and just to give you guys colors. <laughs> Man, I wonder what these colors could be. Yeah. Man. It, it is an history. It's a mystery. Does yeah. V Wild need them though? Yeah, V Wild's gonna need them. That's why I'm. I understand nothing. <laughs> I will say that the moment I heard about the flowers, I started looking at Toko's spell list, and now I'm squinting because I know for a fact <laughs> that Toko has speak with plants, and I don't know why what DMV did to make it. Like straight up disappear from the DMV spells. eats your sheet all the time because it's a sack of shit. Yeah. Turn it into a goop. Turn it into a spreadsheet. Yeah. Um. No. As you guys can see, um, there is uh, they, these are the colors of the plants, um, surrounding it, with red at the very top and the other colors kind of going off in the distance in a semicircle, um, from behind the cauldron. Um. Um. You guys would have to get closer to look at the plants more closely and obviously like hear whatever Pants Pirates is saying. Um, um, but as you guys are approaching, he just you do hear him say to Sam's uh, specifically like Sam's, I don't know if I'm able to solve this one. I actually forgot the solution. Um, don't tell them that. Don't let them know that. Um, how are you guys approaching? Concernedly. Well, someone needs <laughs> to be <laughs> going now. To Girls is going to look at Gala and go, Would you like to be the next for you? You know what? Why not? And she is going to... You know what? Because Disguise Self has a certain amount of time. An hour. Yeah. Has an hour... I look at Jay. I will has say an... that an hour has definitely passed past the point, so if you want to recast it, you can, or if you want to yeah. just let it drop, you can. What I want her to do is roll sleight of hand to look as though she's casting it as it drops. I mean... Just because that's... Can... They're not... Smart. I'll, I'll say this. They're not looking at you. You can recast it if you want to before you go and speak to them. I mean, Sam's she's... is looking at you, but Sam's doesn't care. I mean, she's specifically doing this in the... She knows she can't keep disguise self up forever. Mm -hmm. So, basically, it's a, look, I am totally casting Disguise Self for me. I am a real. 
All right. Yeah. Sure. Romy. Yeah. Romy. Uh, it's basically covering her ass for down the line, because she's gonna want spells later. Wait. Are uh, you okay? You're you're faking casting. Uh... Yeah. Basically. Uh, she, but you're letting it. Drop, but it looks like she's casting to look more. Got it. You know what? Yeah. Sure. That's actually way. Uh, that's actually like way smarter than I thought. Uh, what you're trying to do. Um, <laughs> go ahead and uh, roll a side of I'm hand. Compliment. I'm that is a it. compliment. Okay. Uh, I'm not what saying... would you... Slide of hand performance. It's 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 definitely slide of hand to try to hide. Uh, right. Uh... Actually, uh, quick question. Um, can you read to me the requirements of um, uh, the sky self? Because if it doesn't have, because if it doesn't have, it, um... has, it has somatic components. Okay, so yeah. Slide of yeah. hand, then. Okay, slide of hand. Uh, that is a sixteen plus four. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. More yeah. than enough. She does make sure to specifically do it when Pant Pyrus is looking. Hmm. Okay. This. You, you you call out as part of the activation of the spell. So as he turns around, he sees you um, recast the spell. Mm-hmm. I see. Um. <laughs> I'm the real now. I see. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's obvious. You. That, uh, never mind, it's not obvious. Absolutely not. Of course not. Either way. Um, and you see he's actually a little bit nervous as he says this, like, um, for the next puzzle, you must create a concoction, a city concoction that will destroy this thorny wall behind me. Mm. And I definitely know the answer to it, but you don't. So. Of course not. I have to puzzle it out. And you are incredibly good at puzzles. Thank you. Hmm. I told you so. Um, I did not. I create this puzzle, I will admit, but I do see that its ingenuity is quite good. Um, the local druid made it. Oh! Fascinating. Um, may I talk with my compatriot, my fellow reels again? I, you all do know that you don't have to do each puzzle by yourselves, right? Like, it's... it's uh, you, it, you can it's work about, together. It, it's about the manners. It's... We are new to this area, and it, it's always good to be polite, especially to incredibly good puzzle makers. I guess real kind wouldn't be uh, wouldn't know about our puzzle uh, uh, et et etiquette. You're right. Of course. Sam's. Oh. We should show them the library so that way they know uh, the puzzle etiquette. I believe there is a book there. Marvelous. Do feel free to uh, work with the puzzle with your friends. All right then. Let's go. Oh. As you stepped forward, by the way, you did say that there was something written on the cauldron itself. Um, she is gonna crouch down to... How, how, how tall is, like... How tall are, like, Pamp, Pyrus, and Sam's? Uh, how tall are they? Uh, Sam's is short. He reaches your ankles. Pants Pyrus? <laughs> Actually... Yes! Yeah. Our ankles? Not sorry, not ankles, your knees, like or like your hip. Okay. Not your <laughs> just flat fuck Tuesday. It's flat fuck Friday, baby. I can't, I can't, I can't believe Sam's tune kind is a tiny, tiny man, tiny sexy man. It's so sorry. The tiniest sexy man, sexiest man alive. You say one thing, anyways. <laughs> he reaches. Uh, he reaches about halfway up your like your like thigh, basically. Um, yeah. yeah. Pyrus himself. Um, he's about a foot uh, less taller than you, so like he he's pretty fucking high up there. How tall is Gala again? Uh, seven foot. Something seven foot nine, I think. Don't quote me. Hang on. Yeah, almost eight. So he's seven feet. He's fucking tall. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's just a little bit taller than girls then. But yeah, so, um... Sorry, Helen. Uh, inscribed onto the cauldron, you see the sentence, From up and down, you'll find your soul. 
and uh, this is written. Right. Well, this would be tricky for real. Hmm. Bella, you just hear Toko from behind you, so I could just wither the vines. I'm also a druid. And true, you could, you could, but at the same time, it's it's interesting to do a puzzle, to do things right. We we do want to keep on the good side of the people. Hmm. Bella doesn't say anything, but like internally, he's like, "Well, if there's a puzzle, you got to do it." <laughs> We love to say it. I do believe you have to place a certain amount of petals inside of the concoction. Although I'm not sure... I mean, I know exactly how many you're supposed to place in there. Um, what if we just put them all in? What was, the, I, what was the first phrase? From up and down you'll find your soul? Is that what you said? From, uh, yes. Uh, written on the cauldron itself, it reads... From up and down, you'll find your soul. Hmm. Are we allowed to look up uh, cipher decoders? Sure. I'm... Just looking at it, it doesn't look like a Caesar or any kind of shift X. It's not a Caesar or an Atbash, that much I know, so it is one that you need a code for, I presume? Unless it's literally a scramble. It could yeah, be a scramble, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. what you lot puzzle it out, um... So... Where are y'all from? I've never been. What What's the outside like, actually? What's the sun like? Very bright. Yes. But, well, we've read. I mean, we are real, so of course we've seen it. Yes. This sounds sounds awful, honestly. It's no. It's 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 a good warmth. Hmm. Mm, yes, definitely. Um, I will definitely post about this online. <laughs> Oh, not you guys too. That fucking guy. <laughs> it's. <laughs> um. While well, everybody else is solving the puzzle, uh, Libby, where, 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 where are you? If you don't mind me asking. Um. She is. Um. She might actually be interested in a cipher, um, but she's also sizing up the vine for like, what if we have, to, what if we just cut through it? Um, I'm gonna let you know this thing is fucking about like twenty foot thick. Cool, 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 cool. It cool, is cool, cool. one thick vine with like percussions coming out of it. It is thorny, um, and like just putting your hand on it, you can feel like thorns stick to your hand. Off the top of her head, would she ha would she know like how druid you have to be to do this? Um, not off the top of your head, but it's an easy combination of like strong druid. Mm hmm. Yay. Love this place full of strong magic users it's just great i mean you might not meet them it might be the person who you, you saw at the very bottom of the cave mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, i could totally get rid of these vines <laughs> me knowing no you can't i i think i, figured, I, think I figured, figured, figured it out i think i figured it out <laughs> hold on i'm oh. just I'm testing my theory. I, I want to see. Justice, integrity, perseverance, bravery. You got it, but not in the way that I thought you would. So the way that this puzzle's like supposed to be solved, <laughs> um, at least as far as I'm aware, um, um, is if you write them out, like 
uh, the letters, like, because uh, they're all five, like, they're all five uh, in one Yeah, you segment. stack them one on top of each other and then read down the columns. Yeah, if you stack them on top Whoa. of each other and you read up and down. I, up, I, up I, I just posted what it looks like if you read down the columns. Uh, so, Justice, Integrity, Perseverance, Brinkley. There you go. You um, are. That makes sense. Now I will Perhaps say to you, there's like a couple of glyphs in the in the in the snow, and it's like, oh. I will That's say though, thing. I was about to say, do any of them like? Do any of them know like which colors correspond with the different traits? None of you know that. Right. Would Toko know? If, would Toko does, does know not know. Yeah. This is not something you can roll history for because it's not knowledge that was available to uh, the, at your time. Oh, if I could ask a question, um, Sister Williams. I'm sorry, um, you're asking Pants Pyrus? Yes. <laughs> yes, of course! I'm, I'm, I will attempt to provide hints towards the right solution. The cauldron itself mentions souls. I believe I've puzzled out the cipher. Justice, integrity, perseverance, bravery. But I don't know what that means in reference to souls. As a uh, real kind, I am uh, knowledgeable of the ways of this place. Mm -hmm. yes. <clears throat> Bams, we really do need to take them to the library. So, um, allow me to. And you see, he pulls out like a fucking PowerPoint presentation <laughs> from behind. <laughs> <him>. yeah, <laughs> yes. 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 Oh. Okay, straight up. Please, Gala. Oh visibly brightens up. You full-on just get the Aurora Borealis around her in just glee. PowerPoint! Please tell uh, me... Please tell me he, like, whips out one of the, like, um... One of the, like, standees yes. that has, like, the thing on it, and he has a clicker, and he clicks through slides. <laughs> yes. There's no, there's no projector in sight, but there is a clicker, and there are slides, and there is light from somewhere. Yes. <laughs> You. you actually see the Sam's like appears from a tree and he's rolling wheeling in uh like a projector. <laughs> in the snow. Yeah. Uh, is it is it is it the specifically the projector from like 300 years ago that's the one where you put the sheet of paper up and then it projects it onto the Yes. Thank you. Okay. So The clicker is just for audio cues. Yeah, for... the the clicker is for audio cues for Sam's. Just um, like the cool trained just... brother. So, oh, um, what, what, what was Vamp gonna say? Oh, go ahead, Vamp. Okay, um, wait, hold on. I, uh, I have to be right back. I need to grab something from the kitchen. Oh, okay, go ahead. So you can take a small second. Um, because I will say, uh, Libby, where are you during the mm -hmm. PowerPoint presentation? Would you listen <laughs> intently to this? She, she's glad at least one of us is having a good time. Uh, <laughs> she will, she will listen to it in periphery, <laughs> um, but not like sitting in front of the PowerPoint, taking notes, nodding enthusiastically. She's yeah, kind of looking at it, um, kind of paying attention. Because if she does, like, try and fully focus on something, there is a good chance that it's either just not going to work or she's going to get stuck. Okay. No, don't worry. I just, I'm going to wait for Vamp to get back, but I, I just want to get from information for yeah. a second. Okay. Mm -hmm. cool. uh, question. So, yes. uh, did P Pants Pyrus mention, like, uh, something about taking them to the library? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Nebula brightened in the same way that Gala brightened about the PowerPoint when the <laughs> library is mentioned. Yes. Right. So you, me, we are going to that library, and we are going to enjoy it later. He is nodding. Right. So, this um, is very confused. To teach you all a little bit about uh, some of the knowledge we've acquired while in the underground, most people living living in souls has uh, some amount of, uh, well, I'm not an expert, but let's just say substance. Um, mm -hmm. We call these substance uh, main traits in of sorts, and. Um, they really do color your soul, in a sense. Um, and you see uh, literally the exact same Im image show up um, that I posted earlier with all the different soul colors. These are the main seven co soul colors. And while most of us have some of uh, some of these personality traits, um, 
um, all of us carry some amount of each uh, of the others. The one that's most prominent is usually the one that um, shows up more during medical procedures and such like that. And you can get your soul scanned by the doctor. I'm sure you're... Well, you have to take that up with your insurance. With that, um, you get soul colors. Which, um... And you said this is the solution to the... Uh, to the puzzle? Looking at girls? Yes. Yes. Um, uh, this side. Well, if I had to guess, then, um... Each represented full color responds to one of the petals here. As you see, these are the different, literally the same colors as the soul colors. Oh. You see the Does PowerPoint. Matter which order we put them in? Uh, the PowerPoint presentation uh, is put away, and uh, Sam's returns. Um, uh, Sam's pushes back the 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 thing. <laughs> um, but yeah. You guys can go ahead and put the petals in uh, in the same order if you want to. Um, yeah, ne Nebula was asking uh, directly the uh, Panspirus uh, if the order matters. Um, hmm. I don't know, but I do know that the vine will attack you if you put it in, if you put in the wrong ones. So, right. So, let's, let's, thank you. Yeah, let's go with the right order. Can we make a review on that PowerPoint? It was very good. It was really informative. Ah, oh, thank you. Um, uh, uh, during that presentation, uh, Libby. Um, yeah. Okay. You see, uh, you see, Sam's is kind of like sitting on a chair, like one of those like fucking school chairs that you'd find, like uh, you know the ones. Uh, yeah. With a metal, with a metal sub, and like exchanging out the slides as Panfires talks, um, mm -hmm. and he just looks at you and he just says like, "Oof." Um, oh God, no! I had this in my brain. Give me a hot moment. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Oof. Gonna breathe and. So, uh, he looks at you and just says like. Man, isn't my brother cool? Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you asking me? I wasn't really asking. I honestly just needed a way to break the conversation. Um, okay. You obviously seem like the one most experienced one here, apart from the big fiery head, uh, head of hair over there. Um. Do you, uh... Um... Obvious, obviously how? Well, <laughs> if you don't mind me saying, the plate of armor, giant shield, and giant axe do really draw it out. Um, okay, fair. Uh, genuinely, you do seem like you've been uh, in your own scuffle uh, or two, in a sense. Um, I'm not saying, by the way, that you guys can't eavesdrop on this conversation. I am saying that <laughs> Transpires is giving a very thorough uh, ex uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation, and doing so would be rude. Um, you wouldn't want to be rude to Pantspirus. You wouldn't want to be rude to Pantspirus, would you? <laughs> no, we wouldn't, because he's wonderful, and we love him. Correct um, response. Mm -hmm. But... Look... I'm not going to sugarcoat it. There's a lot of dangerous people down here. We've That's been what I'm worried about. Yeah. But I will tell you. Don't hurt us, please. You don't want to. Is that a threat? Promise. Believe me. Now. Mm, well, let's just say if everyone keeps their hands to themselves, then you won't have a problem. I'm not just going to roll. I'm not just going to roll over and make my people take it. No, but... Yeah, well. 
Just don't try to hurt anyone. And get yourself a sense of humor, for God's sake. Please. And with that, <laughs> presentation's over. Um, <laughs> um, I will say, by the way, throughout that entire conversation, Libby, it almost seemed mm -hmm. as if though, like, nothing around you was moving. Like, you were mm -hmm. the only two people you could say that we're in that conversation? Demigod. <laughs> no. Or a spell. For God's sake, I'm stopping basically, the Basically, like, just teasing Libby about this now, I feel like. <laughs> Time stop is a thing. Anyways. How much about... How much about that sort of magic do you think Libby knows? Not enough. Definitely yeah. not about time stop. That's a fucking nice level spell, baby. Yeah, um, that's a very high level spell. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> anyways, <laughs> that's a nice um, level spell. What? Anyways, <laughs> yeah. So I am Olivia's baby at many things, and now I just I'm just sitting here with a bag. Wait, when did I get a bagel? <laughs> <laughs> Do bagels just keep spawning in front of your computer? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nebula. I love this. I, um, I don't remember getting up to get a bagel. <laughs> um, Nebula, you said you were the one putting the pedals in? Uh, sure. Okay. Yeah, he'll enough... do it in the uh, yellow, dark blue, purple, orange. Perfect. Easily enough, you uh, you pick each pedal and you drop them into the corresponding order. You see as you do so, the cauldron's color just begins changing color, shade from um, to each different color. Uh, up until the point in which it makes like a rainbow mixture that begins swirling a little bit and then it just kind of um imposes back down into like a sort of like almost a clear mixture um of like uh, that's a little bit white and um prince virus just looks at it and is like ah perfect and just fucking kicks it towards the towards the <laughs> thorny vine um and you see it like uh like roll over like and spilling everywhere uh like doesn't harm in anything, but like the moment that it touches the thorny vine, um, it the thing just fucking begins crumpling up and dying, um, and you see like yeah, you see the giant like fucking hole that the vine came out of, uh, like uh, way up above, like uh, just like the, the entire thing just dies, uh, at the top. Oh, is is that going to grow back or is it just gone now? Oh, don't worry about it. We usually get we usually get rid of them that this way. Ah. Invasive or... Hmm? Is it an invasive species or... Well, they sometimes, so... they sometimes block pathways, so we gotta get, we gotta move them. Oh, of, of course, of course. It's, sorry, it's some... Um, family trait to try and figure out these things. Very different to the ones. Never mind, sorry. By the way, you lot solved the puzzle. Congratulations. It was obviously a very easy solution that I already knew the answer to. Um, good job. Are you perhaps hungry? It has been a while. Nebula looks at the yellows because he doesn't eat and doesn't feel hunger. He doesn't know. Um, food? We've got our own food. Thanks. Are you sure you wouldn't want some of my famous uh, reggaeton? Um, is that probably not? Is that vegetarian? I can make it vegetarian. Gala is very specifically going to look at Libby. In she will decline at the same time. It's rude to pass up a meal at the same time. She wants to listen to Libby because Libby is an adventurer. Uh, Gala, uh, Libby is. Low key put off by how Gala is now looking at her for like permission on every little thing she's doing now. Um, mm -hmm. but is fine, I guess. Tech is is this what she wanted? She doesn't know. Um, uh, damn it. Now I remember what I yeah. wanted to exactly say. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> Huh? Catch it another okay. time. It's all good. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, 
Libby ways, cause yeah. She gives a gesture that's like, eat at your own risk, I guess. I admit I don't believe I've had that meal before. At least, not off the top of my head. It, it might be a translation thing, but... Um, I'm not sure about the others, but I would be interested if you can do it vegetarian. Perfect. And he if... reaches into his head. <laughs> if worse comes to worse, <laughs> Inmate well, yeah. does have detect poison and disease. I Libby also we... can unpoison people. <laughs> yeah, honest, honestly, Gala is okay Look with food Toko, poisoning. Toko has the... Sorry, what did you say? Uh, so can Toko. Toko also has, I believe, right. purify. No, protection from poison specifically. If Gala gets poison, we can fix it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you 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 see Pinsfire reach into his pants and uh, pull out uh, a plate of like... Uh, I don't know what else you want out of me. There's no other place you can put the hands. Like, uh, <laughs> they have a plate of rigatoni in your pants. Are you just happy to see me? <laughs> so you can see a uh, rigatoni pasta, um, uh, like um, made out of um, specifically it's uh, oh god, what the fuck is it? It's the green one from fucking Luca. What is it called? Oh, I know uh, Fatucci. Fatucci. No, no, Alfredo. It's not Alfredo. Oh, it. My mom owns no, like three Italian restaurants. Pesto? Pesto, it's pesto. Um, yeah. Uh, so it's a, it's a, it's a reggaeton made with a pesto sauce. Um, not specifically for you because you requested it. Um, you do see that, well, it's not poisoned. The pasta is definitely not cooked all the way. And um, the pesto <laughs> was not mashed correctly, so it's just like big leaves of pesto uh, over the sauce. Is this clear, just from any point of view? It's just clear from any point of view that this is not poisoned or like uh, like bad, as much as it is just somebody's first attempt at pasta pesto. A, a tiny, tiny part. Of real soul <laughs> withers, <laughs> but at the same time, he's had far worse. So I'm still learning how to cook it. Grills eat it, chicken meat had far worse. I think, I think if Grills has put Toko down at this point, Toko will just like grab like the grab the plate and like eat it. I mean, if you, I mean, one second. I mean, if you want a plate yourself, and we just got another plate, and this one isn't vegetarian, but puts it down in front of you, and it's like, it, this one has meatballs in it, and the meatballs, like, they're cooked, they're fine, but there's, like, there's no sauce on it somehow, like, he got sauce all over the noodles, but not on the meatballs, and it's not well seasoned. <laughs> It's fine. Toko's a wolf right now, which probably has different taste buds. So there you go. Real. Libby is staring at Gala with a shit-eating grin. <laughs> a mission to roll deception or something. Gala is going to eat it. Sure. Oh, Might be constitution, uh, actually. Yeah, well, I can constitution. Constitution and something to basically pass off this is delicious. Um, yeah, sure. Roll both. Okay. That was a burst to see how bad it is. Okay, what's your con? Your con is a plus two. That's an eleven. Oof. Oh boy. An okay, eleven. Uh, could be worse. What's your performance? Worse. Uh, I will get to my performance in just a second. I am a slow typer and I do my best. I cannot change this. And no. um, um, performance is a eighteen plus three. Okay, so roll that at disadvantage because it's a constitution saving throw, if you don't mind. Got it, got it. Which was a 17 plus 3. Okay, so it's not good pasta. I'm going to tell you that for sure right now. <laughs> but it's bad. you make it, you definitely make it look 
uh, as if though this is the best fucking pasta you've had in your life. And you see Pants Pyrus, it's like, another win for Pants Pyrus! My pasta expertise is unmatched. It's, there's probably, she does do ear twitches, and anyone who, like, fully knew <clears throat> her bog stuff would know it was the, oh, what is in my mouth, that these guys don't know real, and they don't know fur bogs, so it just looks like really happy flaps, and then she mm -hmm. is making sure it is the happy flaps. She's faking it. She is masking heavily. Either way, <laughs> feel free to continue on your way. Um, Snowbound Town should none, should be no more than... Uh, an hour hike? Hour and a half? Hmm. <clears throat> Obviously, you'll still have to solve my last puzzle before you can get uh, get past me. The Great Pants Pirate. Oh. Wait, is, does that mean we have to um, fight? Uh, Sam, do we have to fight? Uh, Libby is looking wanna. at <laughs> the Sam's. I don't think so. Oh! We definitely need to go to that library after this. I, do, I don't want to commit any um, social faux pas. Either way, um... Farewell! And just... Uh, Sam's... <laughs> yeah, he just seems to... He just walks into, a, like... Uh, he just sits there and back down, actually. You just see him sit back down uh, on the same scholastic chair that Sam had earlier. <laughs> Bless. Gala is going to put the rest of the food in her hammer space. Mm -hmm. Now feel free to keep it. When they get out of here, she is going to just, like, pawn this off on someone else who just, her family, just go, I went to a strange land. Here, try this. It was a delicacy. <gasps> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, do you guys have anything you want to say to each other as you guys are walking? This is a, this, this is a, this is a bit of a long hike before anything else really happens. I have a question. Has it been two hours? Um, I would say... It was an hour uh, when you got to the key puzzle, so I would say that yes, it's about to get to two hours. All right, then. Miss, then Mix will, as will be turning back to Mix Child very soon. Yay! Yeah. That's all I got, you folks. Um. As you guys do uh, continue to walk forth, Thames makes a couple of more appearances, um, uh, like just at random, interjecting into conversations. Uh, sometimes you'll see him, like, uh, and then you'll blink and he's not there anymore. Um, uh, there is a one point, uh, like, uh, like a pair of no snowmen that have been obviously built by Sam's and Papyrus. One of them is just a pile of snow that says Sam's on it. And the other one is just like a really well sculpted build of pants pyres with ad. Well, these came out of the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I'm really <laughs> glad at least one of us is enjoying this. <laughs> they have puzzles and they have my humor. It's. Yes. She looks. She just. Look, just she looks at Doc, intending to share a look with Doc. <laughs> I would like to emphasize: inmate's expression is colon backslash, but somehow it looks incredibly more distressed. <laughs> uh, she's gonna try and mosey them to the back of the group so she can ask why you look a lot more distressed than normal. You don't normally even look like things. <laughs> uh, before that, I, I just want to say something really small. Yes. Um, that being that uh, Nebula's reaction to Sam's doing this is just 
Just kind of look at him oddly like, is he montaging without us? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just got shortcuts. Got a lot of shortcuts, how so? I repeat. Uh, I didn't hear what you said. Uh, no, Sam just said, I just have shortcuts. No, no, uh, I thought you said something after that. Okay, I think uh, one of you guys said something. But yeah, Nebula asked how so. Oh, uh, that's what I was... Okay. Um, I got my secrets. Um, Alright then. Feel free to uh, uh, have your little conversation with uh, Libby and Doc. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she's just... Uh, hey. Number one, you, you good? I mean, well... You don't look good. What's up? Do you think that this hospitality is common? Define hospitality and common. Pants Pyrus does seem intent in keeping up with whatever tradition they have with puzzles when it comes to real kind, but it does not seem that he genuinely wants to cause us any harm. Do you think that the others who take residency here are like that? <sighs> Well, uh, Gala told me what the goat lady said. Mm, it would be nice if the other people were like this, but I don't think that everyone is going to. The, the, um, the shorter one, that the one that's not ours, the, the skeleton, uh, he kind of said that um, it's pretty likely uh, we're going to meet some folks that aren't quite as welcoming. Why do you ask? If it is true that, sorry, the baby is like wailing in the background. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's very so. distracting to the obby. You're good. You're good. You're good. good. Uh, we say if if it is that the majority of people here are nice, and it is just the one or few who are more aggressive what should we do well, you, know, well, Libby, you wanted to be in command you gotta <laughs> remember what Sam said yep uh, yeah, that's what you're saying well I am not really keen on the idea of letting you guys get knocked around a lot. I'm pretty sure the shorter skeleton that's not ours threatened me about that. Um, fighting, I guess, or hurting people, but um I I play in on trying to just stick to not hitting first um and the people who 
are aggressive. Uh, let them have what they try and dish out. Why? Do you uh, think something different? If it is true that they've been trapped here for ages... Oh gosh, what were the words? I had them and then I just lost the words. Give me a sec. Do you like that? <clears throat> you like that? I have been stuck down here for a long time. Libby, one of them did not even know what the sun is. Plenty of people do live like that, though. Like, under dark and that sort of thing. There is a chance that some... In he doesn't do the hand gesture, but, like, mm -hmm. when they, uh, say aggressive, there is the, the audible, like, quotation marks, they say. Mm -hmm. If we do counterattack the more aggressive types, such people may just be... Civilians who are just trying to get out of here. Well, I can understand that, but not if the way that they're going to try and get out of here is by, I don't know, sacrificing you or whatever on some sort of weird, stupid tune altar bullshit. There's only one, I guess, technically two people of our party that aren't going to be in danger from that. And... I'm not just what like what what do you suppose we do like there's there's really not any other option i'm not just going to stand back and let you get killed or die and you aren't going to do that you wouldn't do that for anyone else either hmm Oh dear, I see. Okay, give me a second. <laughs> oh dear. Welcome to the moral dilemma of Undertale. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to... I'm going to... So <laughs> inmate doesn't look at you. And uh, they kind of just like turn their head away and they say... Is there a difference between a prisoner and the two s stuck in this mountain? Like... Morally? Ethically? I am on borrowed time, Libby. I am not supposed <sighs> to be out here. I am not I am wanted for- I am- I have been found guilty of bioterrorism. You have- Oh, I- mm, 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 nope. Um, 
She is. <laughs> no matter what you have to say on the belief of that, legally, I am a prisoner. I do not have freedom. This, and he, and they gesture, us coming out to the field with Toko. It is not real freedom for someone like me. I am not free. I know. I know, Doc. But I... Ultimately, it It is your choice, but I do, I don't think it's the right one, and I, I don't want that for you, okay? It's... Uh, she, <laughs> she goes to try and take their hands. They let her. Yeah, that's weird. She doesn't normally initiate contact. Um. Are you saying you'd rather die than keep living as you are? No. I'm saying that if we are meant to be enemies with the people who attack us, I don't think I can bring myself to hate them. She relaxes. Uh, and looks at you fondly. I wouldn't expect you to. I don't really know if you have it in you to hate anyone, I'm gonna be honest. I think I don't expect you to fight. I would hope you know that by now. I'll take care of it if it comes up, okay? And if you were thinking about doing something like that, can you talk? to us about it first. It is only right to discuss a possible treatment with a patient. Or the patient's Ah, uh, concerned parties? Libby. Yeah? What's up, number one? You are my friend, and I trust you. You're... Uh, you're my friend, too. And... I... I trust you as well um but I'll discuss it with you if thank you anything else kind of... oh they no go of... on they kind of 
relax a little, and they're they're still not looking at you, but it's less of the uh, looking away and more of their usual. Uh, they are they are just not comfortable making eye contact with mm-hmm. anybody, you know. <laughs> and and they go. Oh, if you do anything rash, I will be the one to prevent your death. I, well, I've made it this far. This is, this is definitely their version of trying to joke. They are bad yes. at it. No yeah. kidding. <laughs> hey, I, I've made it this far without you. Okay, well, not entirely without you. I've made it mostly this far, more or less without you. I think I can handle whatever the hell this bullshit is. She squeezes their hands gently uh, before loosening her grip so they can pull away if they'd like to. Inmates giving me a vibe, but they are not a very like touchy-feely person, but they mm. kind of want to pull Libby into a hug. They can. Libby's also not a touchy-feely person. Awkward sibling hug. (laughs) I I think it doesn't even say anything, but they they kind of just awkwardly like hold hold out their their arms like very it's very awkward, but they are trying to like make a gesture like do 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 you are you okay? Uh, she you can't say no. She makes a face, checks over her shoulder. How eavesdropped are they being? <laughs> I feel like Coco would eavesdrop, but only if no one else stopped them. Honestly, Gala wants to eavesdrop as well, just on the basis of these two people she cares about. Libby is genuinely tr- actually, like, being quiet, or trying to. If, okay, if... Girls is 100% eavesdropping, roll the natural 24. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we can, got... I, can I, I will, I, I, can okay. I roll stealth to see how well he's hiding it? Okay, one second. First of all, how far away are you guys? Well, that I'm, ask, I'm, ask, I'm, I'm asking the, the two who stepped away from the main party to have a discussion. Uh, Libby would have pulled them back a good, like, uh, like, uh, like 10 plus feet, like enough I'm gonna say to, like, 20. Okay. okay. That good to you? Do you want to be closer? Uh, I don't know if she would put herself so far away to where, like, most of her movement. That is um, four spaces. Just letting you know. Yeah. Um. Uh. If, if you are that far away, they cannot hear you. The most they can see what you're talking about. Um, if one of you is able to read lips, um, uh, you can she, hear she'd one She'd go, half of the like, 15. 15? Okay. That's yeah. still, that's, I would still say that that's not enough that you guys can actually hear, especially if they are whispering. Mm-hmm. So, you guys can hear, you guys can see the conversation happening, and you can see that you're somewhat being eavesdropped on, with Grills being the only one who's hiding it very well. <laughs> I, um, I didn't have Gala roll on that front to see whether she was, uh, are we rolling to see whether we're being subtle or not? Sure. I'm, just, I'm just guessing that Toko wants to eavesdrop, but someone's just stopping them. Does the child cut eavesdrop? Adults can do. I, I, I will say, with DM permission, because if this is something that is meant to be private between Toko, sorry, not between Toko, between Toko? That between is entirely Mate, up to the players, honestly. Uh, um, no, mm-hmm. what I'm saying here is between Matey and Libby, could I forgo my nat 20 and actually say that because out of character, Gala isn't one to rudely eavesdrop. If they are genuinely seeming as though they're doing something private, she will just stop Toko from that's, eavesdropping. Honestly, 
whatever your character would do is what I'm telling you to do. That's, yeah. That's, that's, that's... Yes. Sorry, Toby. Look at the initiated physical contact. That's something she don't do yeah. much. We are, we are letting them have the privacy of intimate co of close contact and familial stuff. This is cute. We're not gonna. Cool. We're not. We're not gonna step in on that. Nebula. Uh, you... Even if Nebula was, he rolled a four, so he's not hearing or really seeing anything. There you go. Okay, <laughs> since from Libby's quick glance backwards, it does appear that they are not being actively observed. Uh, she does quickly give inmate a hug. Hey, hey, number one. Hey, Doc. Yeah. Uh, you get a very brief hug from Libby, and you discover Libby is so fucking goddamn huggable. <laughs> like, unreally very huggable. You, you know, like, you know, like, like, Ikea shark huggable, but like, Blahage. more, yeah, like, Blahage, like, just... This is a this is a living plushie, and she, yeah, she is inhuman. Like, well, it makes sense. She is inhuman, inhumanly huggable. <laughs> this is something you know now. All right, this is something they can never do in public. <laughs> <laughs> This is funny as hell. Um, but also very sweet. So, um, I, I did hear you change the music. <laughs> I needed to change it because honestly, when heavy conversation topics like this, I should be playing Falling Down instead. <laughs> it's good. It's a good song for this. Fair. Anyways. Uh, um, she pulls back and just... You good? Better? I so. Yes. I will let you know if it gets worse. Alright. Thanks. Let's go. And they're gonna follow after you. Alright. Dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> So, uh, you guys are now entering a pretty wooded area uh, of this. Like the path has widened enough that it's actually like this is a this is a major cliffside on on the side of the cave system, and um, uh, you guys can see multiple trees around you. It's just it's a, you still can see like a somewhat path, and Sam seems to be guiding you somewhat. Although it's been a bit since you last saw him. Um, Uh, as you guys are heading into this direction, you're seeing no mounts. Um, no. Just random snow mounts. Uh, uh, like obviously packed, like just bits of packed snow. Um, that were definitely not built. Like they're not naturally made. Um. Yeah. I did this. Sorry, one of my pillows fell off my bed. Fucking distracted. <laughs> Tell me about the pillows. The pillow wall. Oh, snowpuff. This is a snowpuff. This is a snowpuff. <laughs> this is another snowpuff. Correct. <laughs> I, I what feel is this? I it's feel a reference and I yeah. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. Really yeah. Friends, baby. No, you just listen. You just know that that Toko, the Kara XP, is literally just walking around like. And whenever someone even like looks at the snowball, they're just like, "That's a snowball." And this is good. Good. I was hoping so. Anyway, I think this just is actually another snowball. Wait, hey, I just had an idea. 
Inmate is looking at one, and if Toko says uh, says that it's a snow pop, Inmate's just going to be. Do you want to jump in it? Is Toko a child again? Uh, it's been two hours. Yeah, it's been two hours. Toko looks at Inmate. Looks at Snowpuff. Looks at Inmate with big eyes. Inmate, inmate makes a gesture at the Snowpuff. <laughs> Toko will in fact jump into the snowpuff. They got permission. No one can tell them what to do because the doctor gave them permission and the doctor. <laughs> God, let's just Nebula, get. Nebula is looking fondly, but he's also like internal. Like he, he, he doesn't get it. He's. He, why? Why consume yourself in the cold? Toko <laughs> can't feel the cold for one. That's fair. Okay. Yeah. As you guys are having fun in the snow, um, what's everyone's passive perception? I've got the highest with 16. 16. Um, I will say- Grills? Are you there? No, you go, you go. The girls are just gonna pick Toko up and then throw them into a snowball. Uh, Definitely. Yes, you good. Child, very fun development, but- it Jade, this is Jade. I don't know if you're thinking what I'm thinking, but Toko's getting yeeted right into one of the snow puffs. Give me one second. Well, that's a nat one. So one of them is a nat one. Three. Wow, this is not. That that one fell off my computer. <laughs> I don't think they're rating a sixteen. Oh, these are horrible rolls. Alright, so. <laughs> more than easily enough, the lot of you uh, begin to see, like, something comes out of, like, a snow puff, like, far in the distance, and, like, dashes uh, into the trees. Um, it's been a while since you saw Sam's. Um, uh, but, um, like, then another one, then another one, and obviously... Something is here. Something is trying to surround you and has come out of the snow puffs. Um. Yeah, Levy's jumping! Defensive! Yeah. Real kind in the middle! <laughs> Doctor and child in the middle! Yeah. I'll be in the snow puff! You can go back! Someone will be pulled out of the snow puff. <laughs> Grills is the designated child wrangler. <laughs> Gala's straight up. It's. Yeah. You, you know when deer get agitated? There is the full-on ears pricked, head up, and the hoof just goes for a moment before she's pulling out her spear. Now, mm -hmm. it is, since you guys are, definitely saw them, um, I will give you guys uh, a, a chance to organize however you want, as currently, um, they're somewhat far away, so they're actually, they're not, um, they're not uh, within closing distance yet. At least not for them. Is that behind us? Is that a cliff edge? Oh, okay, um, I will cool. say going are... this way. Yeah, like this oh, way. A path. This way is the edge, like where it drops okay. off. And this way is like the wall of the cave. So okay. your path that you're Where's walking the... goes through this way. There's no path on this map, but you know, you got a little bit so off the path. Heading toward, oh, are you heading toward the right then? You're heading towards this. Okay. Mm hmm. Uh, but feel free to organize yourselves however you want. Uh. As. Now yeah, we're starting initially. Yeah, uh, arrows, would you more. Better... Go. Oh, no, excuse me. I think it would be smarter for Libby and uh, Nebula to be swapped. So we've Literally got... the yeah. thing I was about to ask if, if yeah. Arrows is cool with. They are insane! No, no, I was, yeah, I was going to say similar. Uh, or Nebula immediately below Grills. Yeah, it's this thing swapping Libby and... Uh... Abyss? Huh? No, L Libby and Nebula were swapped. Yeah. This? Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, that works. Oh my I, God, yeah, so, so I was saying below, right below Grill B. Grill B. Wow. Grill. Yes, grill B. Because, uh, <laughs> like, if he needs to... If he if he's casting spells that are higher than cantrips and he's going to go 30 feet away, he doesn't want to hurt anyone with magic surges, because that's how he goes. Um, I, I, but he's also closer to... He's got more range for other enemies. There are more enemies on that side than on the other. So where where you're going here or where? Yeah. Where do you guys? Yeah, so you good. guys have a ch you guys basically have a round to set up, do an action because you have to have noticed them and then while they're closing in on you guys, um, but you guys see, yeah. Mm hmm. This is gonna take a step forward and set himself on fire. Right here. Mm -hmm. Uh no one yeah there. Mm. Uh, hold on, let me look at my actions. Uh, I almost want to say that Gala, Gala wants to say something. Uh, I'm gonna let the others go first. I mean, Flames holds a bonus action, so can for his action, can you just take the dodge action? Yeah, sure. Very clearly defensive stance. Uh, no. Um, Libby might do a cast. Let me double check. Also, obviously, roll initiative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Nebula this will go. Um. Well. Yeah, he'll he'll preemptively go thirty feet away, I think, uh, towards the right. Over here. Yeah. One, two, three, four. So here, you're you're hiding between this tree and this cliff side, basically. You still have yeah. somewhat of a line of sight. You gotta kind of go here to, like, uh, you can still see dog. Like, you don't know their names, but Dr. Essa, um, <laughs> Dago from here. I will say before Nebula, Gala will just. In a very soft voice. If we get separated, meet at town. Sure, that's the best. Mm. At least outside of town. I'm not sh we're not sure how hostile they'll be yet. Okay, outside of town. That's Sounds good. Uh, then I guess if no one's got any other things, because uh, Libby does have. I Things. Yeah, you guys could uh, be Grills was Grills gonna reply? Because Libby was kind of asking. Sounds good too. Uh yeah, Grills just went understood. <laughs> cool. Um Libby is uh going to cast a sanctuary on um uh inmate and Uh, that's bonus action. Yeah, I think that's it for now. Well, yeah, that's it for this round. She'll just do a bonus action. Uh, I have a turn. Uh, yeah. You go. You go. Good question. What What's the mate's AC? I cannot hear you, Vamp. And mate's what's... AC. Seventeen. Oh, okay, then you don't need this. Your EC is already bullshit. Um, <laughs> I'm just checking. Thank you, Lippy. <laughs> just checking, checking, checking. Okay, I think. All right. So, us Doko is um, Doko is a druid of the Circle of the Shepherd, right? Mm -hmm. At second level, Toko gains the ability to call for nature spirits and use them to influence the world around you. As a bonus action, you can summon an incorporeal spirit. The spirit creates an aura in a 30 foot radius around around the point that they were summoned in, which can be anywhere within 60 feet of Toko. And um, it counts as neither a creature nor an object, although it has a spectral appearance of the creature it represents. You're allowed to like would you mind like, posting the uh, the ability on yeah. chat? Yeah, 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 I'm copying it as we speak. I'm also just reading it up because I need 
could read it out to focus. Um, yeah. spell persists for one minute. Once you use this feature, you can't use it again until you finish the short or long rest. And the effect of the spirit depends on what spirit Toko is summoning. You tell me with, where you want to put it. Yeah, with all that said, Toko's plonking the plonking a bear spirit like right in the like wherever i we don't have a map so like i can't actually position it anywhere because we don't have a map yeah we do we're like just we do we the, the stream yeah the stream i forgot you were streaming <laughs> buddy i've had music the entire time expensive okay anyway um where where can i put it where it'll grab everyone uh there here would here here would probably actually there you go here would probably hit everyone and also like maintain you guys within a circle of uh, area of influence so right here all right all right so which one are you spawning uh, i'm flunking the bear yeah the bear Although, funnily enough i've done this in previous prior games too but coco spirits look don't look like look like the animals that they correspond to. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's what's the animal appears then? Uh, specifically for the bear spirit, like, again, it's very, it's like, when those among spirits, they tend to look like incredibly hazy and see-through and not all there. Like, you can tell that the spirit is there, it's just not as solid as if another, like, if a um, if a reg like if a regular druid were sum were to summon it, like I would say that someone could probably roll perception if they'd like to see what it's supposed to be. I mean, you know what it's supposed to be because it, it's it it obviously I, I it has, do. it's. I, I mean, they can, I know what it is. Vamp, it it can be seen. It's just it's it's uh, the spell when it's casted creates the spirit in that area. It's transparent and iridescent and very pretty, but um, unless somebody it's more just... like, it's more like how should I put it? It's more like hazy. Toko themselves does not remember the person that they associate with the spirit, basically. Okay. I see what. Okay, it's this it's group not, is it's... in the state because it's only half remembered. Thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. All right. You can well, roll if you like, but you don't have to. Like, um, if anybody wants to do that, that yeah, if anybody wants to do that, feel free to do so. Um, but uh, you then me... yeah, do it, do it, Libby, do it. Uh, did oh, did Matey huh? have anything that he wanted? To, uh, sorry, that they wanted to do. E e uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, he had my spells. All right. We haven't taken a long rest since the last session, so I haven't been able yeah, to have. like change my since the last yeah. session. Yeah, you we took a long rest at the end. You took a long rest at the very end before you left uh before you left in the morning, so you have Fuck, all your spells. I forgot to change my spells. Oh so Toka, roll initiative. Please. Yeah. Um Do you want me to throw the descriptor for Sanctuary and the Elm Realm, Jade, or are we good? Holy shit, that's a map twenty initiative. Oh, Unfortunately, right. we do go after grills because higher modifier wins. But that's what uh, I uh, Does anybody want enhance ability, I guess? I love you. Grills, grills did step forward. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm uncertain how useful it has to go to be for grills. I'm looking Fair. over YouTube. Um... Like... <sighs> Um, bear's endurance might help, but also we get temp HP from the bear spirit anyway, so. Mm -hmm. Which, what's your druid level, uh, Toko? Uh, four. Okay, so That's we get nine, nine temp HP. <laughs> <laughs> nice! I've got 60 actual temp HP. Uh, 60 actual <laughs> nine temp HP. Nice. Yeah. Nice! Uh, is is that everything from everyone else? I'm just waiting on Libby's initiative. Yep. Uh, it was put in the other chat. Uh, I added you in standard dice roller with the list. Oh yes. right, yeah, Libby. Libby's not Libby, rolling. Libby. Libby has a uh, no. It's in it's in the PM, uh, it's in DM realm, I think. Libby's 
Yeah, 16. 16, okay. Ah, okay. Uh, then... I cannot believe the child is, like... Like, the child only has a plus one dex. How are they so early in the initiative? Because everyone else rolled pretty garbage. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. In fact, it's, uh, uh not, none of you guys go first, but... Yeah, I, the last thing... Gala is gonna go after everyone else, and is going to... No, I, th I think she's in a good place to protect Matey and such, but she is just going... She's gonna use Thaumaturgy to project her voice, and quite literally go... We are civilians, we mean no harm. We we goes before Tokoloi. Pardon? The so Jade girls goes before Taco. But she does just go, We are civilians. We mean no harm. We will defend ourselves if necessary. Okay. Um, is that everyone with their turn of setup? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, just because now the turn, of, uh, the, tur the turn of setup is over, again, the, the almost as if, like, initiating like a uh, the fight itself um the world again turns black and white um, um uh the the trees surrounding you have become like obviously mostly mostly it's just an empty blackness but the trees surrounding you have become like this uh uh this white like uh like uh, chroma version of themselves um and you guys can see clearly the enemies around you um uh with that, um, uh, fuck my brain. Um, Gala, sorry, I cannot remember. Um, Gala, you shout this out, and you mm -hmm. do get an actual response, um, which is like, like you hear sniffing into the, into the air, and just says like, but y'all are real kind, real kind, real kind, real kind here, real kind. Our job is to hunt real kind. We we gotta do it. Sorry, it's our job. Sorry, uh, kind of a um, kind of a job. Yeah, yeah, we can definitely smell you. Yeah, you're definitely real kind. No, no, no. A couple of skeletons here and a tune kind, and someone who's dead. Yes, someone who's dead. Mm. Doesn't smell very good. Uh Who is up makes an offended guess. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like which which one. <laughs> uh, followed by uh, a lot more sniffing, um, and you do hear the uh, the biggest fucking massive dog uh, out of this entire thing um, please, come out here. Please, and... please, please, please. One moment. Oh shit, that's please. right. Okay. Uh, as you hear it, fucking whistle like like with both of his hand, um, and it's gonna use its effect dog command. As two other allied dogs are going to use their reaction to move closer to you guys. Uh, there's a tree in the way. It's got a... There we go. Get stuck, get stuck in the tree. Go fetch. Yeah. They can move out of the time. They're using the reaction to follow the commands of their leader. Um... The two of them move forward. That's all they can do, though. Uh, here the dog is going to use his movement. And move behind uh, Dr. Me. And... Yeah. Each. This is a good question. You got on him. He does have reach. He's got a spear. Spears don't have reach. Oh, they They're don't. Free. Fuck, no, you're right. I don't know. That's all he can do for now. I should. <coughs> nope, he's got five feet reach. That's all great dog can do for now. No, but it's your turn. Hey, oh, it's Grill's turn. I love that the first it's, instinct it's Grill's turn. Is uh, it girls have the higher modifier, but Toko got a nat 20, so how it does that... It doesn't matter higher modifier wins. It's always by a uh, higher modifier. Nat 20s don't matter in a, uh, in initiative. They don't. Molina! Uh, in which case, girls does go above Toko. Oh. 
one second. I thought you said that Coco goes above girls. That my mistake. No. Oh, right. There you go. Yeah. Um, girls, you're up next. Probably. Um, well, he's on fire. Um, he's not going to take... Fuck. Um... You smell like charcoals. Like the yeah, restaurant that we have yeah. here. Not the not like the actual thing of charcoals. Yes, I noticed that. <laughs> you see they are sniffing you. Like super hard. <laughs> okay. Um <laughs> Fuck. This is so far out of his range. <laughs> can we, can inmate say something on your Sure. Sure. <laughs> Alright, inmate says they're dogs. Play fetch. No, that's exactly what Toko was thinking too. Like literally, okay. just does anyone right. have a bullshit object? Um, Grills will pull out one of his darts <laughs> and go. I hope that this works. Here, doggy, doggy, doggy. <laughs> You're gonna have to roll. Wave this. It. Okay, here's what I'll tell you. It stops sniffing. It looks at you. It like puts its spear down, like against its side, and it's like, really? It's kind of insensitive, honestly. I mean, it's either this or I hit you. Which you, which would you prefer? I'm not. Okay, I don't even know you. That fetching is kind of like a thing that we do between like family and like friends. And this is not like. This is sorry, man. And go go back on fighting stand and begin sniffing you again. <laughs> it just like looks back at him and be like, "Do I throw it anyway? What do I?" <laughs> inmate, <laughs> inmate's just staring blankly at this dog. <laughs> and I'd be like, "You understand." <laughs> Coco is just like, I mean, they're trying to kill us, and we're also strangers, so like, throw it anyway. I, I mean, they can worst that can happen. Like, like, it's not like they, they can kill. kill us. It's not like they can try to kill us harder. Krills is going to go fuck it. Go fetch! And throw it. It's going to be so funny if this doesn't work. It probably <laughs> won't. It does nothing, nothing happens. <laughs> No. Alright, then he'll use his second attack to punch dog me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, roll for attacks. I don't know Undertale, but I know for a fact this is maybe taking a turn. Um, okay, hang on. I've got to double check what the fuck is going on. Um, plus seven. <clears throat> okay, so the main attack is... Uh, 23 to hit. Uh, 23 to hit? Yeah. Oh, that definitely hits. Uh, I think his punchy punch mod, I think his punch punch dies a d6. Yes, it does. Uh, oh, I need to be forced. Is that okay for Wow. Okay. Um. Wow, this soundtrack is so fucking good. <laughs> okay. So the 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 punch does um ten bludgeoning damage and then an extra two fire damage on top of that. Okay. Uh, give me one second. Oh my god. How much damage in total? Uh. Right over six. Um. Uh. Twelve. <laughs> Alright. Funky hit. Uh anything else? Yes, he can punch again as a bonus action, so he's going to. Wow! That's like a pet, but it hurts a lot more. Uh that's twenty-four to hit, so it's seventeen on the dice. Seventeen to hit? Uh twenty-four to hit. Twenty-four to hit, definitely that. hits. Um that's another um, that's another 
nine. Fucking Christ. No, ten points of damage. All right. Hey, hey, Jade, quick question. Yes. Uh, would fetching count as a reaction? Uh... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh my fucking god! Yes! Please. Let me hold on. He gets advantage on that. With some uh, saving throw, obviously. Hold on. What's your whiz save? It's probably good if it's a lizard. It's a plus one. Sorcerer. Alright! <laughs> uh, okay, plus one. He gets advantage on that. I will do that. Let's see how you do. Well, that's a three and four. Wow, that's really funny. <laughs> oh, so, um, I need you. The thing. I have a really quick question, girlby, uh, girls. Uh, where the <laughs> fuck, girls? Where the fuck did you throw that stick? He or the just dart? Threw it in a straight line upward. So What's your throwing distance? So, um... uh, it's 20 feet short range, 60 feet long range. He'd be going for distance, so... You'd be going off map. Let's just say he landed somewhere around here, 50 feet. It hits the tree and gets stuck. Yeah, it hits a tree and gets stuck. So... Nebula is mortified. <laughs> Nebula, no. You have Nebula. to use... I'm Nebula. going to say all of your movement to go pitch them. Yeah, he does! It's 30 ah! feet, I think, is his movement. <laughs> Thank good. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. Grills, Grills, so, you throw that, that stick and Nebula just darts. Just <laughs> fucking fucks it. I didn't mean you. I didn't mean you. <laughs> ah, fellow dog, I see. Thank you, Comet, for reminding me about that. Gosh. Oh, Someone, dog. Definitely dead still dead. Nebula. Someone, I mean, dog. Okay, Definitely still I just dead. realized that, like, this comes soon after he did tell everyone that he got transmuted into a dog, so they can probably <laughs> guess where <laughs> this is coming from. <laughs> no. He Libby. might retain some instincts still. So. Bold of you to assume Libby remembers anything he says, sir. It is seeing it happen, it's realizing afterwards the, oh, for the love of. <laughs> so. Uh, girls, is that your turn? Yep, that's me done. Alright, Coco! <laughs> you see Nebula fucking book it after a stick. <laughs> did you know that he'd do that? He did say that he got transmuted into a dog once. If I had known, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> yeah, we're good boys. We don't throw we don't follow anyone's just anyone's stick. And good girls! Yes, and good girls, thank you, wife. Aww. Oh you're married. <laughs> you make a wonderful couple. Thank you! <laughs> Sorry we have to hit you! Well, That's fine, I'll hit you back. <laughs> uh, Toko, what are you doing? Uh, the three dogs that are closest to Toko, are they all, like, close to each other? Um... Are you trying to do a spell that has a circular pattern of distance? No, it just requires that they're all within 60 feet, and they're all within 30 feet of each other. Oh. Well, these are, uh... I just need to get, uh... All of them are within 60 feet of this one, if that's what you're asking. I, I want to get the three that are within the aura of the spirit. What are you trying to cast? Cause fear. Cause fear, okay. Yeah, do you need me to copy-paste the spell? Yes. Is cross the cross is 30, not 60, right? Or am I getting that wrong? 
it's weird in the sense that the radius of the spell itself is 60 feet. However, if you're trying to target more than one creature, they have to be only within like thir they have to be within 30 feet of each other. Yeah, please post it's, that. It's single target. It has to be to attack more than one person with it. Hold on, I'm trying to. When you cast a spell using a spell slot of second level or high, you can target one additional creature for each slot above first. The yep. creature. So it's casting this as the third level spell, basically. Yep. To tag three creatures with it. <clears throat> yep. Also, we do have Avery, so. Mm -hmm. e so, uh, that. I guess, um. I guess all three docks within the aura needs need to make a wisdom save. Okay. Uh, let me just read it quickly. So, are you casting it here so that way? It has a sixty-foot fucking radius. That's fucking big. Uh, it's sixty foot from you. Sixty foot range, not yeah. sixty foot radius. It's yeah. sixty. Foot range, oh. So you hit someone who was sixty foot out, and then the people around them. Like, if you're doing, like, if you're using a third level slot, then. It's from that person. It has to be another. The, the three, the three dogs that are up in our grill right now are the ones being targeted. So it's a little bit irrelevant. But... Yeah, yeah. We'll see. It... Okay, I was trying to see if you could target three, four of them. By the way, uh, yeah. Okay. Have spell slot that high. I can only target three targets. Anyway. Okay, so must succeed in wisdom saves to become frightened. I do have to look at something real quickly. Okay. Oh my god. That's... that's yeah, good. Of course they have that. Yeah. Um, it's just this one specifically. It's all three in... No, they're not all the same. They don't uh, all have what's brave. The, what's the result for the first one? The oh. the greater dog, the one with the... Uh, got 12. That fails. Nice. That also fails. Wow. That also fails. All of them so, fail. Toka just, Toka just takes a deep breath, points at all three of them, draws themselves to their full height, which is not very tall, but they have a way of like standing regally, and just yells, Bad dogs! <laughs> Bad dogs! What's your room right now? <laughs> Whimpers <laughs> and um, so uh, <laughs> if this vision ability checks attack rolls while the source of fear is within line of sight, the creature can't willingly move closer to the source of its fear. Okay, so they don't have to, they don't have to keep moving away from you, but they can't stay within this. Um, so they can they cannot move. Um, they will also yeah they can, they have a disadvantage in their attacks. Okay. That's yeah, very good because they're coming up next. Can Toko put themselves? Can Toko put themselves in front of inmate so they genuinely cannot go near inmate at all? Uh, if you're moving forward, you can't be in the same space, but you can move here. Yeah, that's what I meant. Okay. Um, we could we just run. We could run. How fast are they? Quick. They're not quicker than me. Not quicker than girls. We're kind of about all of you. The rest I, of you. I have a spell that might help if we can just get away. I mean, if, if they can't fast. move any closer, if they can't move any closer, that's cause... true. Yeah, but that's <laughs> only half. That's only half of their party. What happens if we get when we get to the to the town, though? We'd have to find some way to lose them. So so take care of it now, or take care of it later while running. Well, we don't need to up. kill them, we is can just... Is there a way to cover our scents? Trace! And Roll the... in the snow. Snow deadens tracks like you wouldn't believe. Indeed. Guys, do you know we can still hear you? <laughs> yeah. At the same time, no you want to track us. Uh, Libby... Reaches into the snow and pulls out a bottle of perfume. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> well, you can definitely do that on your turn. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, on her turn. Uh, as a bonus action, can I do anything as a bonus action? Can you? The good news is that they can't move any closer to Toko and they have disadvantage and stuff while they're near Toko. But give me a second because I ha I don't have Toko's voice memorized just yet. I'm trying to remember if there's something they can do as a bonus action. Alright, while you figure that out, I'm gonna have to take the turn of the next two monsters. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Alright. Okay, I do not have anything that I can do as a bonus action. Dog me. You're gonna multi attack. And ignore the part that says orts. Uh. Mm -hmm. You're gonna make two uh, battle axe attacks. These are just battle axes. They are at disadvantage, so the 14 hit you, girls. Misses. Okay. Sixteen will also miss. Sixteen will also yeah. miss. All right, both of them miss. All right. Um. How tall are these guys, by the way? Are they still shorter than Gala? Oh, uh, the greater dog is the only one who's taller than you. This boy right here. This guy's nice. fucking taller than you. Everyone else shorter than you. Mm. I love how that's how we measure things. <laughs> All right, lesser dog. Yeah. The Your second lesser dog can be taller. The, the second but not thing. Currently. Uh -uh. The second thing that's also getting me is we've got a pack of dogs and we got a deer amongst the best. Galder is distinctly <laughs> a Eleven. Eleven will And... Alright, so... Quick question, Gala. Does an 11 hit you? No. How about a 23? Yes. Wait, disadvantage, right? That was a disadvantage. That's a disadvantage. Oh, shit. Um, you take 13 slashing damage. I want it on record. Gala is very much giving the please don't do this expression as she's hit. Mm. Okay. That's fine because you guys can click out the thing. Um. I'm trying to think. 13. Okay. I will make a note of that. Hi. Right. Well, speaking of which. Remember the temporary HP from the bear spirit. Correct. Oh, also, um, Dogami and Lesser Dog get wisdom saves against cause fear during their turns. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they do make their wisdom save against cause fear. <laughs> well, I'm guessing 17 breaks it. Unfortunate. Mm. And an 18 breaks it. Damn. Oh, the greater dog? No, greater dog comes before Tokyo. Yeah. I was about to ask if they throw it. Greater dog already went. Uh, they didn't. They weren't close enough to be able to make the distance, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Nebula. Oh wait, no, Gala. Nebula's yeah. up next. Gala, it's your turn. It's Gala is hit, and then there is a deep sigh. And... She is actively making herself bigger to protect the people behind her, and she just goes. And I'm rolling. I'm rolling two attacks, because she's actually it'll be three, won't it, for monk monk punches. Yeah. You have extra attack, then you can use your bonus action to attack yeah. if you're a, if you're a fifth level monk. Uh, could you repeat that, please? If you're a fifth level monk, you'll have extra attack. Okay, uh, she is not there yet. She's only four on that. Okay, thank you. Then you get one attack as your main action, and you can use a bonus action to make one, oh. or you can use a key point and a bonus action to make two. Okay, thank you. That is... Thank you for backing me up on this so that I understand. No okay. worries. Holy... Okay. Well, honestly, this feels incredibly fitting. So, I'm just making sure I remember her damage for this stuff. Because Gala does full-on draw herself to her full height, making herself bigger so that the people behind her are safe and goes, I said I would defend myself. 
And um, tell me, does a nat 20 hit? Ooh, Ooh. yes! Nice. Please don't kill the lesser I... dog in one hit. I <laughs> Gala has spare the dying and she will use it if needs must. We are not uh, killing. That's a concerning noise. I am scared. Uh, let's see. I really. My sheet is all over the shop. I am sorry for the temporary thing. I'm just trying to find where I put the extra. Just calm on, Lebo. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you're bapping or hitting them with something you can call it on lethal damage and just knock yeah. them out instead. Yeah. Okay, that's straight up what she's gonna do. And that is... That is a... Jesus Christ, Gala. Okay. Uh, I need to... I do apologize. I'm desperately trying to find what her fingers... D4. Thank you. Okay. So! That's a six on the punchy. Yeah, six is not hit. No, no, I mean six six oh, damage. Six damage. I'm, is yeah. is it's do we six. do double dice here or do we do double everything? Um so, I just double the dice. Alright. I'm going to put down what I've got, which is a six plus three plus the monk's ship. So you would double Eight. six plus three, so you double the dice, which is twelve. So twelve plus all your stuff. Wait, if you're rolling a d4, what's going six? on? No, it's. I am very tired. But the point I have here is Gala has gloves that add an extra d4 to her damage. Oh. <laughs> okay. Please. So she felt... Tap out your she... stuff. Tap out the damage that you roll. Okay. So. I'm just trying to remember what you get for monk stuff. It has been a while. I am very tired. I apologize. If uh, you're doing an arm strike at fourth level, your your damage die is a d4, and then you add your strength or dexterity, whichever you use to roll. Okay. So, damage die isn't a d6. It's a four. Yeah. So it's a four plus. I'm sorry I am holding things up. Mm -hmm. I will try and do as... Yeah. D&D &D do be law numbers. So it's D4 punch, D4 strike, D4 with the glove. Okay. So that is... I'm going I'm going to just straight up re-roll. Okay, so that's a four and a... Four and a one. Four... Oh. So the four is the first bit, four plus one for the little piercing, and then uh, modifier this dex, dex, dex? Yes. Dex to strength, whichever you used to roll the attack. Okay. So that is a four plus one plus four in total with the so four. So five, ten plus four for the total yes. damage. Okay. And then the second one is a 17 plus. Let's see if it's. That's it. Yeah. I'll let you know 17... now. Yeah, okay. And then I shall roll the damage. But she is a straight up, I will say, she is going for non lethal. It is pressure points that are meant to hurt. Yeah not actually kill, and it is very apparent what she is doing. It is self-defense. It is not, I am intentionally going to kill or cripple. And that is a 4 plus 3 plus 4 for that one. For the damage. Okay, so that is... Yeah. There we go. So that's... 10 plus 4 and 11, so that is 25? I am very- I am very bad at maths tonight. You're yes, good. So if I got this- so if I got this right, you- you hit twice. So you yep. did two attacks. Yep. One of them you rolled an at 20, correct? This is the first one? Yep. Yep. You have an item that gives you an extra d4 whenever you do an unarmed strike. Yes. So, whenever you roll a d20, or whenever you roll a nat 20, you're just doubling the dice. Which means 
you roll the four, you double the four and one, which would be five, uh, five, ten, yep. fourteen plus eleven. Got it. Yes. That is correct. Twenty-one. 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 I will say yeah. that, yes, you are going for non-lethal for as much as that's worth. It is difficult to tell how much damage you have actually done mm -hmm. um, in something like this. And in fact, I should fucking be deleting health bars. Um, we're not but, looking. Okay, up. We're not looking. Yeah, just kind of ignore those things because... Well... Yeah. Uh... It's we're not meant to game it. Like the kind of thing of where I'm saying is like going for non lethal here, not only is it difficult, it's almost nigh impossible. Mm hmm You know what? She is gonna say one final thing. And it is pleading in a way. It's just Please just don't harm them. Please. They're a medic and a child, please. Oof. You hear sniffing, but this time it's like, not sniffing, but more like sniffling. Which there is a difference, and um... Uh... Sorry, got a job to do. I can't... I'm sorry, I gotta be the good boy. I gotta be the goodest boy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You are a good boy. <sighs> uh, that's your turn, Gala? That's all she can do, because she's not going to move when there are people behind her that need protecting. Nebula. Do you still have to continue going after the stick? I'm going to say I... that by your turn, you have come to somewhat to your senses. Um, especially seeing some of your friends get attacked. Um, so, well, yes, a bit funny. Um, you don't have to keep following the stick. So there is that cool. urge. He's, he's mortified. Uh, and he, he kind of winces and let's back a quick sorry. Uh, and he's gonna return to uh, not where he was before, but just Whatever is closest to 30 feet away for a group. You want to stay within the circle? Yes, I want to stay within the circle. Not not 30 feet away from where he is now, but 30 feet away from girls. I mean, that would be here. Okay. Oh, wait. That would be here, or... Yeah. That's the best spot. Yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll go there. Okay. Alright. Uh... And then I think he is going to cast a magic missile. Um, on at... whom? Oh. On whom? Uh, on uh, dog versus dog going great. You hear dog? So I'll do um, he's going right to here. cast it. Huh? You said dog versus dog going great dog. Yeah, okay. he's gonna cast that at um, the ultimate bunny. I think. Hold on, I'm, I'm looking over again. I the think he's gonna cast that at um, fourth level and do two darts to each. Anything above first gives you. Uh, one extra An dart, extra so that's... Uh, yeah. So, so six, fourth level six, would be six, six starts. Okay, so two each. I mean, that's instantaneous damage. Yeah. You just roll a d4 plus one um, for each of them, so... Yeah. Uh, so... <clears throat> well, while you're rolling, what does that look like? Um, that... I'm trying to remember if I ever described it before. If, if I did, then it's probably going to be inconsistent. Um, I want to say like four bright purple, not four, six bright purple um, darts, I guess. Kind of like uh, toothpick shaped. Um, and kind of like 
Uh, rolling with almost electric energy, like that's what it looks like, not the actual energy, but um, and they just bo forward the darts. Uh, let me roll that d4 plus one six times. Six. Oh, I forgot the R. Oops. Let's try that again. Try that one more time. And oh, not a lot of high rolls in that one. Wow. Just to make sure. I am also not keeping track of the health in a different uh, thing, so... Mm -hmm. So that'll go in an arc from left to right. Uh, actually, no, it'll be right It'll be right to left, because it'll go the one closest, and then in an arc around. Mm -hmm. uh, and to each. Alright, give me one second. So the first two are for a two towards Dagoressa. <laughs> Just doing some quick math, give me a second. One plus one plus two, it's two plus four. Oh, I need a real magic search. Hold on. I need to roll an antics Um, I'm not sure. Oh, um, you didn't miss much, Vamp. Um, Nebula is peppering people with magic missiles. <laughs> he is. He's fine on magic search. No magic search. So, if I remember correctly, last time you had to. It was one, two, or three that you had to hit. So now it would be... No, it was... Oh, for magic surge? Yeah. Last time was up to four, now it's up to five. Now it's up to five? Does that okay, cool. reset on the yeah. long rest? Nope. No, this is... It resets once yeah. it triggers. It's... I like to think it's fun to rule. That way. I like oh, it. No, 100%, I like it. 100%. Alright, cool. Uh, Libby, you're up next. All right. Uh, is so no one's really moved towards her yet. It looks like there's Lesser Doggo by Gala there. They're open that now. Yeah. Um. Uh, Nebula's just chilling over there. Hmm. Nebula has not explicitly explained why he moves 30 feet away at every fight. He has not, no. Yeah. And there has been no, uh... Yeah. Or has he? I don't remember, actually. I don't think so. Uh... You haven't. He's mentioned something offhand about Wild Surge and Nightmares, but other than that, no. Yeah, specifically in reference to Nightmares. Uh, yeah, so she is going to uh, use her movement to get closer to Nebula um, because there sure are two more dogs yeah. out there, and he's he sure is out there. So you're moving towards here? Yeah. Is this good? Or I mean, when wanna... she, if she starts moving towards him, can't he just use a free action to tell her not to get close? What? That's just yeah. speaking, speaking as a free action. Mm -hmm. uh, she's coming up behind him, so I guess it would depend on... And he's focused on them, so he might not realize that she's there right away. Yeah. That he's coming. To be fair, she is also in heavy armor, I think. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Clank, no, clank, no, clank, you'd, clank. Try, you'd hear that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he'd hear that. Mm -hmm. Quick question. Who are you guys referring to here? Because I am now very confused. 
So oh, I'm uh, not, Libby, you're... Libby coming closer, but also Nebula could stop her by just t telling her not to as she mm -hmm. approaches. You could. Uh. Which I don't think he will. He has other fighting cantrips. Um. Mm -hmm. And also, he is aware that he is out. In the middle himself, of where nowhere. there are many, yeah. There I don't are think many dog stop and you are a bone man. Um, yeah, he is a bone man. Am I moving? Uh, yeah, I don't think he'll stop her. I think okay. he's already done his. I mean, he he could do more, but he he has fighting mm -hmm. cantrips too that he can use. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh, I guess to sort of continue ish with the uh um with the conversation that they were having together right in front of the dogs because they're good at this um <laughs> uh she as she's running she says uh um uh as she's running she pulls uh she plunges her hand into the snow pulls out a bottle of perfume and tosses it to inmate um and uh can she ready in action um quick or... question yes so is this a normal bottle of perfume that you just take out of your hammer space as like how hammer space works but is this a magical bottle of perfume of something specific that I'm not sure? It is a about? normal bottle of perfume that she drinks because she's normal. Okay. Oh, I remember. That's that. So, <laughs> is is the plan here to use that to mask your sense? Uh, she's giving. They, they just asked if they just asked if anyone had anything to mask sense. Um, okay. and... I don't know if this will work right in front of them. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, I'll turn actually... to you, throw it at them, and completely yeah. go out Why not just throw it at them, because yeah. then I'll be able to Honestly, it makes sense. Yeah, she was just throwing it to inmate to, you know, so okay. they could decide. If you want to, you don't she... have to throw it. You can just hand it to inmate as you pass by. That works, that works too. I'm not going to have you roll <laughs> way... it when it would be easier to just pass it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, I will say, this is one bottle of perfume with yes. liquid inside of it. It is not like a gas bomb. Yeah. So, you throw this at one of them, and you may be able to, to stop their scent. Because this is a plan that, while I like, this isn't going to work for each and every single one of them with one bottle of perfume. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She okay. she just had an answer to the thing. Okay. And cool, 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 cool. She handed one answer. Here here's my one answer reply. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So she is going to ready an action, and she is just basically going to ready her, her two handed warhammer attacks if um, Nebula is attacked. Uh, by uh, any of the dogs in range of her. She did use her full movement. So, like, if Nebula, if the dogs What's try and movement? converge on Neb here. Nebula, yeah. Okay. That was thirty. That was thirty, right? Yeah, this is thirty feet from where you were. So right here. Yeah. So if Nebula gets dog piled and. Ah. Huh. Yeah, and, uh, and and ducks back towards her. Uh, she'll do a hit. But he's being all weird and lonery over there, so. Okay. Me? So you're holding your action in case anybody gets close to Nebula. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So, it's Dagareza's turn. Dagareza <laughs> is going to get close. Cool. But... They're actually going to stop in front of Nebula and say, Not real kind. Not target. Please don't stop us. And is going to try to move closer towards you. Now, 
technically Nebula, Dr. Ressa is not is moving out of your range if you want to take an attack of opportunity. Didn't, didn't they already use an, a, a reaction, though? That was yeah. Dagami, not Dr. Ressa. No, for the oh. Nebula. It's, 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 but it's now Nebula's turn. Yeah, it's that's right. It's Nebula's turn, turn, so you get back your oh, reaction. Right, 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 right. Um, so you're fine. So you can take an attack of opportunity if you want. Uh, would uh hmm. hmm. They specifically told you, you're not the problem. You yeah, can go if you I'm want just... to. Be a diplomat. I'm... Be a diplomat. I'm just wondering because th does an attack have to be something that causes damage? Um, technically, an attack can also be a grapple if you want it to be. <laughs> Yeah, but you I... can attempt to grapple you... Dr. Ressa. I, I don't think you can uh, grapple on a reaction attack. Give me one second. I think I it look. has to be an attack. Can it, be... mm -hmm. can it be a spell that doesn't cause damage? Not unless you have a specific feat. You can't cast spells as an opportunity attack without Mage Slayer. So when you grab a creature or wrestle with it, you can use the attack action to make a special melee attack a grapple. Uh, when you're opportunity taking... attacks don't Grant the attack action. Is the thing. I do have to look at this. Uh... Yeah, okay. You can't. Are you correct? Last. Uh. If you uh, do you have um, what is it? Warcaster. What is the um? There's a there's a feat that gives you the ability I, to. I stop. think it's Warcaster, yeah. Do you have Warcaster as a feat? No. Don't make yourself a target, Nebula. You can run. You can be. <laughs> I I did forget that he has sword three points though, so I need to remember to actually use those hits. Wait. He. Hold on. I mean, it can be as simple as an unarmed strike, or if you have a dagger. Can he um, do? Can he? So can you? Oh, sorry, I'm I'm still trying to figure out between attacks. Uh, and you said what was it you were saying about spells? Like, can you not? You cannot cast at spells, cast spells yeah, as... you can, unless you have a warcaster. You cannot cast spells as opportunity attacks. Okay. Uh, and he can't grapple. So uh, uh it's, I don't it, know if he'd do any... Unarmed no, strikes no, or attack? No, 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 wouldn't do much, so he might, he might do an unarmed strike, I guess, just... just hold out your arm, <laughs> like, the no! Yeah, I, I, I love know. the idea of, like, Dr. is just like, mm, no, not this one. This one's not, not good. Um, and then tries to walk past you and just hold out your arm to punch. Really? Girls used to be giving you lessons. <laughs> so if you're doing an unarmed strike, it's just uh, be twenty plus your strength. You're not proficient. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't have any strength. Oops. So that's just a flat D twenty. That 18? was an eighteen. That hit. <laughs> so it's one plus your strength. <laughs> one damage. <laughs> One. One. Uh, one damage? You do one, one damage. Do one damage to the dog Aressa. <laughs> um, who it looks at like you and is like... Bones. He has no strength. <laughs> we gotta get you some more calcium. We gotta get you some more milk. So, you do one <laughs> damage to the so Hey, whatever. Hey, all damage is, all, is damage, isn't it? Um... And they're gonna move towards you, Libby. Um, because yeah. they did not attack uh, Nebula, so um, uh -huh. they're going to take. Uh... Oh, hey, you guys can cast darkness. That doesn't matter. Um, they they can't actually do that. Um, <laughs> two centaur attacks, baby. It's always against Libby that I roll really well, huh? Uh, 21 and 23. Meets and meets. What's 23? Yours? 
21 and 23. Awesome! So, Let me pull out my calculator! 21 plus 23. No damage. Yeah. No, 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 not no damage. damage. That's the attack. That's the attack. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, no. You take, they hit. Yeah, you take they're, they're super hit. You do take uh, 23 damage. But Thanks. just 23 damage. Okay. Not 44. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Um, all Dogares is gonna do. Yeah, it's yeah, plush toy. That makes sense. These all right, it makes. Oh my god, these are dogs. Oh my oh, god, they're dog mates. Oh my god. I have two options. I could use the perfume on Lesser Dog, or I could pet him. Do it. Do Dude, it. Pet the dog. That is literally your pet. whole shtick. Do is it. petting dogs. You you pet dogs. things. Intrusive thought. Pet dog. Do it. I think. As a reaction, because like they have been kind of polite, sort of, through this entire inter into this entire initiative, mm -hmm. inmates just walk forward. <laughs> no, inmates gonna be like, they, like don't have to go that far. <laughs> inmates gonna be like, I understand we are meant to be at odds right now, but would you mind if I pet you? Yeah. No. No, I wouldn't. Inmate's gonna step forward <laughs> and pet this dog's head. Uh, you do so? It is so happy right now. <laughs> um, you will have advantage on a persuasion check. In this round, or? Uh, towards this dog. No, 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 like, on this turn, or for, or in general. Oh, this is for everyone. As, as, you pet the dog! You now have advantage against, position check against lesser dog. <laughs> right, I'm making yes. it. Yes. You guys just see inmate walk forward and pet lesser dog. Girl, I was what doing. She trusts the doctor. She trusts. She, they, they've got sanctuary. It, you, you have to make a wisdom save to hit the doctor. It's fine. If you wanna, if you wanna I'm say sorry, something, Lily. if you, if you wanna say something towards the dogs, feel free. Bite them and I'll kill you. You are not a bad dog. Literally, just Gala speaking over Libby the moment. <laughs> what she's saying. You are not a bad. L letting us go will not make you a bad dog. You are a very, very good dog. I think what Inmate says is. <laughs> Would you let us go if I promise more pets in the future? Ooh. Amazing. Greater dog! Greater dog! They gave me they, they promised me pets, greater dog! What? They promised me pets! Greater dog! I don't, I don't think inmates like moved their hand away yet. They're they petting me! Have like a hand on this dog's head. Greater dog, <laughs> greater dog, they're really, they're really good at petting. <laughs> <laughs> Greater dog, you, you are very tall. Are, are, are people able to give you pets often? No, not often. I no. am I'm very tall. And I know a great deal of people. Hmm... Would you at least would you at least let me try? If you if you're unsatisfied, 
by all means, no harm, no foul. But I do know there's a good part behind the ear, isn't there? I, I, currently it is inmate's turn, but oh, sorry. you see, great, no, 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 I will say this. All of that is said, uh, great dog has an eye on you. Great, okay, girl has got a target. I also, I apologize for over free action speaking. No, 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 you're good. Um, speaking is a free action, uh. Okay, so. I wasn't going to have Garland move or do anything. It was straight up just talking. She's got a plan now. All right. Um, it's now Doggo's turn. Doggo, who has not seen any of this because he is blind. Uh, you oh! <laughs> yes! Uh, you do see... I love him so much. Uh, you do see he... Uh, <laughs> uh, his, like, sphere also functions as a walking cane. And he uses, like, a lot of his notes to just kind of direct himself towards the direction of you guys, and he's just like... I love, I, I, I love him. We can't harm him. I love him too much now. <laughs> I, I'm you all. I, I love him. Why do I keep hearing about pets? Who's giving each other pets? We dogs aren't allowed to give each other pets. I thought that was a rule. You're not allowed to give each other pets. That's just sad. Can we? Do you, do you want pets? Yes. Maybe. I have another hand. <laughs> I can definitely give you pets. Alright. That's Doggo's turn. Greater Dog is going to... I want, I, want it, I want it to be known that Inmate was not joking when they said that they have another wait, hand. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't Greater Dog still fine on Top Dimco? That's oh, true. you're right. Can't get closer. Cannot get closer. Yeah, Stoko, Stoko doesn't. Stoko hasn't had the chance to drop it yet. No, I you haven't. Drop Technically, you can drop it whenever you want. But so, um, in that case, if the dog, like with Gala saying that she wanted to pet the dog, I think Toko would drop it. Yeah, because you do see, like, your dog is like, "Oh, I want to get those pets. I want to get those pets, but um, scary. I can't. I can't. The kid's scary, it's scary man. Kids, 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 real scary." <laughs> <It's> scary. <laughs> Toko, Toko, I feel like Toko being scary with just Toko putting their hands on their hips and like giving the disappointed look. So now just like unhand their hips and like undisappointed look. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, did you know I love you? Uh, so Grey Dog is going to hold his action to wait to be petted. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. Grails, it's your turn. Um, Grails is going to do the heretofore unprecedented double pet. Uh, take a step forward, douse his hands as a bonus action, and then one hand on each dog's head and just scratch, scratch, scratch. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, dog, Reza, you gotta get some of this. Reza, you so gotta- pushing you. No, it's all right. Honestly, the punchy was pet, felt kind of like a pet, but just really hard. It's like a really bad pet. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Nebula is uh, he's close to Dogarissa, and he he does hold his hand out. Like, you do you want do you want pets? How does Dogger react to pets? <laughs> How does Dogger react to pets? Um, <laughs> very con pet. yeah, very confused. Uh, for a second. <laughs> Uh, because they didn't see it coming. Before they smell in your direction, it's like, ah, shark holes. <laughs> oh, good, good stuff, yeah. Okay, yep. Uh, yes, you say, warm hands. Yeah, and you're saying we can pet each other? Is that a, can we do that? Are we allowed to do that? I don't think we, we... We never tried. I thought we weren't allowed to. I thought that was like an unspoken rule. Should we do that? Are we allowed to? Really Fuck yes. <laughs> see? Okay. okay, we can swear. Are we not supposed to? Am I not supposed to swear? Behind Bella, behind Bella, at the perfect, like, at the perfect, like, perfect timing behind Bella, you just hear very loud, Fuck! Oh no, not the child! Oh, there's a kid here? Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to swear. It, it's okay, we, we just try and make sure the child doesn't swear. It's, it's fine. Honestly, you're, you're doing amazing. So... <laughs> Um, I want to know, because Nebula, obviously, Ressa is going to definitely take some pets from you, but how's Livy reacting to this? 
She cannot believe that we actually might get away with this bullshit. Um, Welcome to one call. Uh, it's also probably for the best. Thank she is privately grateful. Nebula took over the pet for the dog that attacked her. Reza was kind of uh, Reza was honestly like looking at you like expectantly, like. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. Um. <laughs> Nope, Nebula can take that one. Okay. Offer. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. And who is she to deprive him of petting <laughs> this dog person thing? Hey. <laughs> so, uh, has has Gala had a chance to pet the very good doggo yet? Um, eventually it does get to your turn, Gala, yeah. and you can a hundred percent pet greater dog. She um, is going to like she she knows animals. It's yeah. you I see guess you does. see like the arm you see Greta Dog actually pops out of the armor and they're just a fucking normal sized dog inside the armor. <laughs> yes. This is a right here. Oh, okay, I am a not Pomeranian, if you will. Okay, straight <laughs> up. I am not uh, she's just gonna go okay, um straight up. Is it offensive if I start cooing because you are so majestic? No, that's fine. We're we're all we're it's like hey, we might be bad boys after this, but God, we're getting pets. You are not a bad boy. You are such a good boy. And she is just going to <laughs> basically. She just goes to her knees and she is just giving the good scritches. It's if belly yeah, rub is possible. To say but sweet. if this if it's possible to give belly rubs, she will give belly rubs. She is going so, to figure out pet yeah. on this and going to do it with that. Everyone but living gets on the petting action. I, I, unless unless uh, Toko is also not petting. I think Toko. I think Toko. Toko right now is just give, giving me being torn between petting and being torn between becoming a wolf puppy again and getting pet. <laughs> <laughs> so, they will like move a little so that they can both pet a uh, lesser dog. Yeah. Toko so, Cliff, Cliff, Easily, do I want to pet? Uh, Libby, if Libby can, she moseys on over to where the pet fest is happening. Oh my god! Um, I think it's also dirty. Uh, she, her, she's like somewhere between like a yikes look and just like a disbelief. She's just like. This sure is working. Um, and she for she scruffles uh Toko's hair, not a pet. Uh, specifically like the mess up hair from earlier this morning. Yeah. Gives a yelp and then like bats like at Libby's hands before going. Fuck it, I'm becoming like a cub so that Libby can't like ruffle my hair anymore. I'm mm -hmm. becoming like a wolf again. Mm hmm. Oh, that she dog. looks down at Wolf Toko and says, "I can't believe we're." I can't believe this shit is working. Dead dog, dead dog. What? Dead yeah, dog. I will say, there is now a wolf puppy in the middle of all this dog. Puppy! Yeah. The best uh, of puppy. Nebula, you get to play it, dog Ressa. Yeah, Nebula, ne listen. Nebula lives with a dog. Nebula has Nebula, like, a dog gets for it. some time. He, is, he knows ne all the spots. He is Nebula, the best pets. Nebula gets it. Yes. <laughs> She oh. she is getting the full pet down from him, mm -hmm. and it is great and amazing. So, uh, eventually, <laughs> after a lot of patting, uh, you guys can also converse with the dogs uh, in of themselves. But like, they they're mostly good to just like get pat down and then just kind of fall asleep. Oh, <laughs> they got oh, real tuckered out. Good dogs, the best of dogs. <laughs> You you can pet other dogs. It's it is completely fine. We're speaking it into existence. Okay, Dogami pets Dogaressa like just puts a paw on Dogaressa's head, and like immediately like their eyes widen like you've taught them a new thing. <laughs> you've, you've you've expanded their minds. So you're saying that their horizons. So you're saying you're saying that we've taught an old dog new tricks. Correct. But I'm. Um, I am satisfied. 
with that. Um, Libby, please imagine in the background, Libby is just like practicing just kind of like just she's in the background doing other things it's just like everyone pets these dogs and a child that is a puppy right now she's 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 just she's in the scene but she is pointedly not participating in the activity understandable hey not not everybody <laughs> likes pets. you cowardly fucker <laughs> nobody likes to be nobody likes petting nobody likes to be some other people don't like to be pet the dogs 100 percent understand that let me tell you that right now. Consent is important. <laughs> That's Either why way. Did they ask first. <laughs> Anyways. With that, eventually the dogs uh, get tuckered out. Um, and you guys are free to continue walking towards the town. Uh, at which point, eventually, you do see. Um, a large rope bridge connecting two main sections of the, like, one part is like kind of a cave wall alongside, like, a large plateau um, that seems to connect uh, to a different section of the cave. Um, but uh, alongside that, and that's where it is, you see in the distance a large tree heavily decorated and lit up with a town surrounded by a small wooden building built out of the wood from this place. Um, from this distance, you can see like multiple fireplaces already going off. Um, you can see people like it's it's a small town, like um, uh, very very homey. From the distance, you can see it's just like it's far away right now, but you twenty minute walk at most. Is um, it a town? It's a town. Has it got a post office? Oh wait, no shit, I'm not pulling a geographer on you. Or <laughs> uh, maybe later. You'll find out. Either way, but yeah. Questions and I'll tell you just gotta time. just gotta cross this very, very long bridge. Cool. Uh Libby does wordlessly ask uh number one for her perfume back. They hand it back and are immediately checking you over for injuries. Mm -hmm. Um, she's bloodied. <laughs> she... Yeah, you're gonna get healed. Hang on a sec. <laughs> she tolerates it and takes a swig. Um, besides, all right, Libby and myself. Was anyone else injured? No, I'm fine. Good. Well, on the plus side, we've learned how to do um peaceful fighting. That was. Absolute bullshit. I cannot believe that fucking worked. I know! Dogs, what do you expect? <laughs> They're dog tunes. Honestly, you know what? in hindsight, that does make sense. <laughs> no, it still doesn't make sense! I Have you lived with a dog tune before? Uh, no! Because most they are people like this. aren't dog They are incredibly people. like this. Uh, have you lived with a dog I didn't live with a dog person, but there were a pair of Kenra in my unit who did enjoy pets. Oh. I'm a little disappointed I didn't think of it first. That's alright, heat of battle. Yeah, speaking of heat of battle, you were like totally you were like fully on fire. Can you just do that on at will? Yes. I did Good it to know. fight against the trees. Did you know see? No, Lib Libby was locked the fuck out. Libby was legit, like, knocked out, Chief. Libby was on the floor being stomped out by a fucking giant-ass tree. <laughs> He's like, Speaking I must have missed it. <laughs> Speaking of Libby, you get 11 HP back. Thank you. you. So, and a lot of you crossing this massive bridge. Do you Before see we do, do you want to take another break? Um, we're not that uh, far off from the ending, actually, so okay. if you guys just want to finish it off, we're... we're I know we're... some folks are flagging. Yeah. No worries, we're not that far off from the ending, believe me. So, yeah. um, oh, oh. um, with that, um, crossing over the bridge, you do see uh, a pair of familiar skeletons on the other side, um, uh, Prince Pyrus and Sam's. Um, and upon seeing you, Prince Virus just says, like, Ah, yes! A lot of you! You made it out, you made it safely through the for uh, through the rest of the forest! Fantastic! 
Now, there is one last uh, puzzle you must solve before you come through. Um, and you see Panspirus pulls out a little remote from their uh, pocket and presses the button. And just like 17 cannons, yes. a fucking grappling hook, um, like a harpoon gun, a dog tied from a string, like um, uh, like a flamethrower. Um, Hi, Toby and... Fox. <laughs> Uh, there's like a there's like a little like bit of magma inside of a bottle that's hanging from the ceiling, um, like a lava lamp. Um, it's it's under the crust. It's a magma lamp. Yeah, it's a magma lamp. Uh, um, uh, and you see my ultimate puzzle. Sweet. I'll be the human for this one. I or just not human. I'll be oh. the I'll be the real kind for this one. Have oh, to oh. activate it. Yeah. All right, get it done. Right. <laughs> Sam, this doesn't seem very fair. Do I just go or? Um, well, you're supposed to outlive 17 cannons, a harpoon gun, a dog, a magma lamp, and a uh, grappling hook over at Rickety Bridge. Um, not gonna lie to you, it's probably gonna ruin the infrastructure of the bridge, as well as kill all your friends. Gala straight up in the back and just, P please don't do that. that I I'd rather them not die. Yeah, I don't like that either. Dying in general is not preferable on my count. I agree. <laughs> Glad we're in agreement. Is that the way it can just shoot me? Like, how how are we doing this? Not really. Um, it kind of just targets the general area of the bridge. That it was kind of like, like, a lot of guns, less aim, less need to aim, like a shotgun situation. Point is, I don't really see this one as fair. So, flips the switch back. All the things go <laughs> retract. Looking at girls right now, roll insight. <laughs> going to roll insight. I'll, I'll roll insight. Cause Gala. That's a nat one, baby. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Shit, motherfucker. Oh, I keep saying plus seven. Anyone who gets higher than an eleven can tell. As the thing goes away, girls are slightly disappointed. <laughs> Me what? I, like, I, I, he was I like, oh fuck yeah, death course time. And then it went away. It like, oh. Yeah, this one doesn't seem very fair. Um, you guys can just come on through. I, you know what? I gotta, I gotta talk with the mayor about. Well, there's no mayor. Um, I gotta talk with the the puzzle designer about this one. I didn't make this one. I think this must have been installed before we. You know. I don't think my insurance premium would have covered that. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Watch insurance. You keep saying <laughs> the word. Right. Wait, is this like can I explain, some sort of? Can I explain this to you later? You can you can read about it at the library. I can info dump on this. Let me let me see true about it later. Cal, the way... I trust the things you say about things I don't know. As far as I can throw you, as far as I can decide to throw you, and I can decide to insurance. not throw you at all. Insurance okay. is an agreement with a company with a lot of money that says if something <sighs> happens within a certain description you can get a uh, recompense including acts of god that one comes up more than people expect yeah we haven't had an act of god in a while are you sure yeah i like i think a lot of us prayed to get the hell out of here and that hasn't worked yet so ah oh. but either way but it... <laughs> um <laughs> welcome to snowbound town <laughs> Uh, and you see Thanks. a massive sign uh, next to it that just reads "Snowbound Town." Um, hold this place underground. <laughs> Nebula internally just like, yeah, he like the town is pretty. He wants to get out of this temperature. <laughs> yeah, this is the um, coolest place. No, thank you. Um. Uh, from here, you guys can see uh, a little bit closer to the village. You guys can see uh, multiple different like tiny little buildings. You see a. Uh, uh, a, a, a little bar called Charcoals. Um, 
uh, a library that's spelled Libarbi. Um, um, just from here. Um, there's an N. Uh, there's an N called Bunin. Um, uh, that has like a little logo of a bunny. Um, and um, it's seemingly just a normal general store that's very heavily de like decorated with like little baubles and like hanging ornaments and stuff like that. All sane knickknacks. Um, uh, sane knickknacks? Sane knickknacks. Saint. Saints and knickknacks. Oh, the saints. Okay, okay, okay. Saint. Saint. Um, and just in general, like about tennis homes. Um, yeah. <laughs> With that, you guys have a round at, snow at the edge of Snowbound Town. And we'll pick that up later, next, uh, whenever that is, because it's Thanksgiving this month. So, yeah. Wait! <laughs> Ignore me! I am questioning many things in the background. You already have the barman with you. Yeah. I know it's XP, and so now I am questioning everything all of the time. Oh. <laughs> yeah. This was not cool. We didn't kill anyone! You did yeah. I honestly expected you to kill someone. Jesus Christ! Damn it! <laughs> 100%. Um, if, if the petting hadn't gotten started, girls would have rabbit punched Doggo, uh, uh, Dargami in the face, gone for a greater dog, and tried to, like, get a mob on him so he doesn't get away. Uh, peck you, Libby has compelled duel. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah, next time we get to explore Snowbound Town. Yay! Yay! Yeah! Cool. I had fun. Do they I have yeah, this, fun. this thirty gold knife that I've been holding around since the <laughs> <laughs> this, <laughs> and I have loved it so much. It's very oh, fun. I'm <laughs> glad. Uh, uh, say goodbye to our audience. Um, I mean, it's, if you guys want to. Um, Bye. Bye. Have a good one, y'all. Thank you for listening. Bye. Bye. Bye.